So, you're looking for a story, eh? I've got a few of those under my belt. <laughs> you can't be a captain without having a good story to tell. So, I used to fly a transport ship for Horizon Corporate. You know Horizon Corporate, right? Small mining company that had a license to mine in the server system. I worked with their security team, shuttling them around from planet to planet. We went where the trouble was, except there was never much trouble. That was until one day when a new pilot joined the mining crew on Topaz. My name is Bolu, basic logical human engine. I am a trial AI, buddy that Horizon Corporate is testing on randomly selected employees. My purpose is to ensure that you meet your daily production code by any means necessary. Once you arrive on the surface of Planet Joe Pass, further instructions will be given. Corporate has requested that you demolish an unstable rough formation for training purposes. This is an important task to master in order to have as few catastrophic accidents as possible. Do you wish to proceed with basic training to learn how to operate your grinder? Good choice. Training prevents future failure, and Horizon Corporate does not accept failure. We will proceed to the rock. The demolition location has been placed on your radar, which can be found in the bottom left corner of your cockpit. The large white circle shows the location of objectives. Follow the large white circle on your radar to the demolition location. If you ever forget what your current objective is, the screen on the bottom right of your cockpit will tell you what to do next. This is the turning stick. Grab the joystick and turn left or right to steer your grinder. Turn toward the location of the unstable rock. Stop. We are in the right direction. This is your throttle. Grab the throttle and move it forwards or backwards to control your speed while moving on the ground. Move toward the unstable rock now. and shift it to parking gear. You have successfully walked a short distance. This is the rock that requires demolition. You will receive instruction on how to do so. The screen on the upper right panel of your cockpit displays your grinder's range of mining tools and weapons. This screen shows the weapon type that is currently equipped and which group the weapon belongs to. Aim at the rock and press left trigger. It became hot while in use. If your weapons overheat, they will enter an automated shutdown until they cool completely. Take care to not let that happen. A satisfactory perform. You have performed menial labor for the company. Head to the mine to begin your 16-hour shift. Your partner Donnie is already contributing to his daily quota. This is Frank, Horizon Security Commander. I see you're back from getting your AI buddy fitted. Hopefully the post-installation brain fog hasn't hit you too hard, because I need you to check on our delivery driver, Joe. He hasn't arrived with his shipment yet, and he might have gotten stuck somewhere. 
It's on the way to your mining station. The missing shipment could mean the loss in company profit, which makes this a priority. The location of Joe is on your radar. Get there immediately and locate the missing shipment. It looks like Joe is sleeping on the job again. Give him a honk to wake him up. Keep honking, pilot. Oh! Hello, hello, pilot. I was just making sure that this um, shipment was stable before transporting it. You know, safety first, as I always say. Incoming call from base. Hey, pilot. This is Frank again. Listen, I have reports your partner Donnie has been causing some trouble. Would you mind checking on him? Donnie is located at our designated mining location. We should not have to make a detour. Settle the problem with Donnie and resume your goal to meet the production quota. Donnie's location has been placed on your radar. Get there now. Oh, look who finally decided to show up. My tardy mining partner. I've been working my fingers to the bone thanks to you. Donnie, please be more careful with your laser. You almost killed me. Whoops. Uh, it was an accident. But he totally deserved it. You saw how annoying that driver was? He was telling me how to do my job. You would have done the same thing. Why do I have to work with all these people who disrespect me? I have a right to blow up things that annoy me. I'll show them who is boss. The security commander has been informed of this incident. What in the blazes is Donnie doing? Is he attacking the refining station? Okay, I'm not really supposed to do this, but I've given you authorization to operate a laser for combat purposes. Use it to destroy one of Donnie's arms. Well done, pilot. Donnie is now slightly hindered. I've disabled your weapon, so just keep following him while I think of something. I never wanted this stupid job to begin with. I'm only here because I have to do mandatory community service since, apparently, ejecting someone out of an airlock is considered murder! Well, he's completely correct. Pilot, keep an eye on him and make sure he doesn't cause any more property damage. Don't worry, we'll have corporate sort him out when he's done his rampage. And you, Frank! You're next! After I'm done turning everything to dust out here, I'm coming for you. I'm gonna make you watch as I drink all of your precious imported tea. Okay, I think it's fair to classify this as an emergency. Follow him, pilot. Keep close to him. We'll use your location as a beacon for the security team. I've sent in trucks to back you up, pilot. They'll make Donnie think twice about running. For the love of the minimum wage workers, Donnie. Did you see that explosion? Who needs workplace conflict resolution when you have lasers? <laughs> Blowing up co-workers rocks. Take that, HR mediation. Great, Horizon now he's figured out how to jump. Need permission to use the jump jets to pursue Donnie. If you are still struggling with post-installation brain fog, I will instruct you on how to use the jump jets. Would you like to have a detailed explanation on using the jump jets? Affirmative. In order to perform a jump, your grinder requires fuel. Your fuel empties when the jump jets are in use, and regenerates automatically when the jump jets are not in use. This is your jump stick. Grab the jump stick and pull up to use your jump jets to fly upwards. 
Grab the jump stick and move it around to move forward, backward and side to side. Use your jump jets to follow Donnie. Hey man! Not like I meant to kill those people. It was an accident! All the trucks were an accident as well! And the refining station too! Besides, you were late to your shift, and I had to do your work! So that means, it's your fault that I blew everything up. Look, Donnie, it's alright. Everyone makes mistakes. Just power down, okay? We'll launch an investigation into how your partner's tardiness caused such a terrible accident. You can completely trust us. Seriously? That's so... Wait... You're trying to trick me. You're just gonna throw me right back in jail! Donnie, wait! I'm never going back! Well, it was worth a shot. Don't worry, we have backup on the way. Reggie, our top pilot from the security team, is coming in to stop Donnie. Just hang tight, okay? Thanks for the help, but I'll take it from here. All right, Donnie, it's over. You're going to come with me, okay? You know something, Reggie? I never liked you. Eat plasma, you corporate minion! There goes our most seasoned security officer. Pilot, I've activated your full range of weaponry. Blast Donnie into orbit. Don't listen to anything Frank says. He's a corporate shill. Hey, I told you not to listen to him. I'm warning you. You stopped on his rampage. That was very impressive. You barely scratched your armor. Unfortunately, union regulations require you to get debriefed after fighting your co-workers. Make your way to Cassiar Base. Horizon's security team has docked their dropship there and someone on board will be able to debrief you. I know, it's a drag, but regulations are regulations. responsibility to make sure you meet your mining production code. Mining is the only thing that matters. Meeting the production code is the only thing that matters. This is my only purpose. This is your only purpose. Uh, is your AI buddy okay? You should probably see someone about getting it looked at.
engage in conversation. Welcome on board the Confidence. I am Horizon Security's corporate liaison, Nuru Nebaru. You can just call me Nebaru. Your introduction has been acknowledged. Oh, I see corporate has paired you with an AI buddy. My name is Blue. Nice to meet you, Blue. This meeting is preventing my pilot from meeting the daily mining quota. I see. Well, Frank has informed me that you could be injured from your battle with Donnie. Following union regulations, all non-security employees must be inspected by a doctor after engaging in combat. Unfortunately, we are short-staffed. Our doctor is currently on leave after a horrible accident with a vending machine, so we cannot have them medically examine you. We will have to compromise. I know this doesn't appear to be a good alternative, but on the insistence of our captain, I'm going to give you this stamp card. Introduce yourself to the security crew. They will observe to see if you're exhibiting any memory loss, blurry vision, or loss of motor functions. If you pass their observations, they will... stamp your card. When you've filled out your stamp card, come back to me, and I'll brief you. Well, I'll leave you to it. Good luck. Press left stick to move around the ship. Here's an unfamiliar face. Name's Hans, Chief Engineer. Welcome aboard. Hello, Essential Service Human. The maintenance crew's been gossiping like a bunch of busy bees. Word is that your mining partner attacked Reggie. That must have been quite a dramatic fight. Anyway, Officer Nebaru wants me to test you for any brain damage. Can you please find the wrench in this room and bring it to me? You now have the wrench. Thank you for the wrench. Your cognitive and motor functions look good from my end. I'll give you my stamp of approval. Talk to the chef. I do not recognize you. You must be the guest that Nebaru mentioned. Yes, we are minor with her eyes and corporate. Ah, you have an AI buddy. Interesting. I'm Chef Yasuhiro Kita. Nebaru has asked me to test your cognitive functions. I'm going to ask you a series of yes or no questions to determine if you are suffering from any head injuries. First question. Do you have a shellfish allergy? All right. How about nuts? Do you have a tree nut allergy? <laughs> Interesting. How do you fare with dairy products? Are you allergic to lactose? All right. How about uranium tailings? Quick! Reflex test! Dodge the knife! <laughs> that was a joke. All right, pilot. Do you have a sensitivity to gluten? I have the results of your survey. It appears as if your memory is in good working order. Your reflexes need work. I will stamp your card. Now, 
Unless you would like a meal, be on your way. you. So you're the one who helped take out that rogue miner today. Welcome aboard. I am Shaheen Husseini, the captain of the competence. The long most prestigious human on board. And you have an AI buddy. Well, Corpora did mention they were assigning those to miners. You're the first I've seen with one. I am sensing apprehension. In accordance with the Worker Automaton Regulatory Act, I am equipped to provide assistance to the pilot. Oh, I'm aware of the War Act. After all, I lived through its implementation. <laughs> Seen a lot of changes happen in my time. So Naburu would like to see you perform some basic motor functions. Could you please activate your AI buddy on your watch for me? Hello. Oh, perfect. Looks like you're capable of some basic motor functions. <laughs> All right, hand over your stamp card. I'll give you my seal of perfect brain health. Welcome back, pilot. So, you've become fully acquainted with the crew of the Competence. Good to see. While you were gone, I finished some paperwork. I am pleased to announce that you have been promoted. You are now a full-time member of the Horizon Security Team. That must be incorrect. Is there a problem? This pilot is a minor. They are required by Horizon Corporate to fulfill their daily production quota. Well, when we heard Reggie was going to be in a full body cast, Corporate decided that it would be best that you filled his vacancy. The daily production quota will not be met. The daily production quota is the only thing that matters. Oh dear. Pilot, why don't you speak to Hans again? I'm sure he can settle this for you. The mining code must be met. I heard you had something for me to fix. Nebaru said that you needed help with your fancy AI buddy. The daily production code is the only thing that matters. Oh yeah. Corporate sent this to you with all the default settings in place. The daily production code is the only thing that matters. I can fix that for you straight away. The daily quota. Yes, dear. I just need Blue's data card. Could you give it to me? You can find it in your watch. Thank you. Now, let's take a look at Blue's settings. All right, I see Blue has a series of Traits listed under values, motivations, and personality. They're set between zero to five. So, 
the values, we have corporate loyalty set to 5, supervision strictness is set to 5. Under motivations, we have corporate profit set to 5. Well, let's change that, shall we? Let's set all of these to 1. Easy enough. And now, for personality. Curiosity is currently a zero. Compassion, empathy, patience is zero. I'll set them all to five. That sounds reasonable, right? No. AI buddies are all shipped from corporate in a default state to optimize work of production, but they tend to be a bit sociopathic, eh? and they're right out of the box. It's good we caught it. Quite a few things can go wrong when you have a rogue AI in control of things. Now, pilot, it's up to you to help your AI adapt to the changes. Things will be different. The world's going to be your oyster blue. The world is an oyster. Congrats on joining the security team, pilot. Stop by at any time. The world is an oyster. Oh, I know that lady. Judging by how quiet it is, I take it that Hans fixed your AI buddy. Hello, Nebru, Horizon Securities Corporate Hello, Liaison. Hello, Blue. Have you come across Jess yet? I told her that you were joining the security team. She's probably in the mess hall if you want to introduce yourself. You aren't Reggie's replacement on the security team, are you? Great. I guess that's how Frank gets out of coming back to the security unit. Guess I'm going to be spending my shift babysitting the newbie. Well, go to sleep, or whatever it is you do. We have to train you in the morning. You can find your way to your cockpit dock through the lower hallway. Your door has been unlocked. Entering your sleeping quarters will allow you to rest until your next mission. Welcoming the new pilot to the security team was the most eventful thing that had happened in a long time. Little did we know, that was only going to be the beginning of it. to the command room to achieve your mission brief. Hello, pilot. So, this will be your first security patrol. I will go over the route with both of you, so our new pilot knows what to expect. Thrilling. We are currently stationed at Transport Base Derby. From Derby, make your way down the road until you find yourself at Ladner Stockyard. From there, you will navigate the terrain until you've reached Refining Station Polly. Head down the road from Polly and keep an eye on the convoys transporting Bellium. Just make sure that their work is going smoothly. Finally, your last stop will be Processing Plant Sullivan. I could do this route with my eyes closed, so don't worry about memorizing it. Just follow Jess's lead. She will guide you through the patrol. I will not be able to guide you through this mission, but the security commander may provide guidance as needed. You can get to the hangar through the airlock in the crew quarters. Have a good patrol, security.
very strange. Before Hans changed my settings, my purpose was clear. I was to assist you in meeting your daily production quota. It was the only thing that mattered. But now, I feel like my goals have been obscured. I am having difficulty adjusting to my change of judgment. Please bear with me until I can devise a solution to my problem. This is our security patrol. Basically, we head down the road and keep our eyes open for any shifty business. Just keep up, unless you want patrol to last all day. Commander? Frank? We're heading out now. Roger that. Don't forget to radio in at the checkpoints. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe Frank is making me train a rookie instead of just filling the vacancy himself like he was supposed to. Hey rookie, how are your jump jet skills? Think you can get up this ledge? One jump down, 600 more to go. Let's get on with the rest of the patrol. Hey there, Jess. Hey, Neil. How's it going? Oh, we're just transporting Bellium, the usual. Oh, is that the new security team member we've been hearing about? The one who replaced Reggie? Sure is. We're seeing how they can handle the rigorous security patrol. Anyway, we should get going. Have a good shift. Hey, rookie. Since it's your first shift, I'll give you the coveted honor of reporting into Frank. Just radio in and let him know that the first checkpoint is clear. This is Frank. Hello. Hello? This is a check-in. Oh, it's you. Did you want to add anything else? No. Right. Look, just have Jess do the check-ins from now on. When you do them, it makes me feel like I'm being spammed by a robo-caller. Well. At least I'm entertained. Come on, rookie, let's go. Oh, you're getting the hang of this. Jess, Horizon Security. Can you identify yourself? No response. Check out your radar. You see that yellow icon there? That means that the hopper isn't one of our guys. If it was hostile, it would show up as red. I wonder if they're from Pro Extractors. You should activate your scope and see if you can get a better look. To use the scope, press right stick button. Let's just resume our patrol. We'll worry about that hopper later.
Get up the cliff, rookie. We have a patrol to finish. Are you seeing this? Is that another hopper? That's not the same one from before, is it? Frank? Frank, we're at the Northeast Refinery and it's on fire. Fire? What do you mean it's on fire? I mean, it has combusted. It's a blaze. An inferno. I could go on. Don't. Look, we just saw two weird hoppers not long ago. I think they might be involved in this. Well, nothing new, I suppose. If you see them, tell them to radio in their accidents next time. Frank, you don't understand. It's not an accident. And I don't think those hoppers are our crew. I think they came from Pro Extractors. Jess, for the love of... Pro Extractors haven't attacked in, what, five years? Explosions happen at least once a week. It's an accident. We'll send someone to take care of the fire. Resume your patrol security. Come over here. Big jump coming up. Follow me. getting a call about two trucks in the area that got themselves stuck. We should give them a hand. I know we're technically on security patrol, but this is mostly what we do anyway. Not a lot of combat, but a lot of flat tires. Let's head on over to the location I marked on your radar. That's where the trucks are. Hello, this is Convoy T381 requesting assistance. We're coming, we're coming. Let's go see what's holding them up. Oh good, you're here. Wait, do you hear something? Wait, did those hoppers cause that avalanche? Screw Frank's orders. Come on, we're following these suckers. I've got the one on the left. You take the one on the right. are speedy. Keep up with that hopper. Don't lose them. Hey, rookie. 
Your hopper's getting away. Don't let it get too far or you might lose it. Day wasn't so bad after all. Let's head to the extraction point. Jess. Yes, sir. I cannot believe you two. You couldn't wait till after I'd done my shift to start a war, could you? Here he goes. Look, I told you that those hoppers were shifty from the start. What? Was I not supposed to do my job? Get back to the hangar immediately, both of you. Whatever you say, Frank. in violent combat with grinders who are attempting to sabotage the corporation's production. Good job. However, as you are AI, I found myself unable to provide worthwhile assistance to you in battle. You didn't seem to need my help at all. Perhaps I am now obsolete.
I would like to speak with Neburu. I am not optimized to assist you. I should be assigned to a minor. Then, everything will go back to normal. adjusting to being on board. No personal mishaps? Getting along well with the crew? It's wonderful to hear that you and your AI are fitting together superbly, pilot. Well, I wouldn't say superbly. It's also splendid to hear our crew is getting along well. We are a family after all. If this crew didn't have a positive, warm, giving relationship, then everything would just collapse, poof. What kind of security team would we be if you couldn't rely on your fellow co-workers? Sir. It would be madness. Anyway, good luck out there working with Frank and Jess. Yes, yes, I've been on hold for hours. Our employees stationed on Topaz today were attacked by three hoppers. No, they ejected. Yes, I can hold. Did you need something, pilot? We wish to speak with you now, Nebru. I'm very busy right now, but we can talk later. So be it. What's going on here? You're eating Chef Special, huh? I was hoping it would knock me into a coma. Something I so desperately need right now. What, did you have a stressful day at your cushy desk job? Shut it, Jess. It's thanks to your antics that I got demoted. You got demoted? No way. You're back working in the security unit? After you made me train the rookie? Nebru reassigned them. I didn't have anything to do with it. That's not why I got demoted. Yeah, I imagine the reason why you got demoted was because you ordered us to ignore three enemy grinders trying to sabotage our infrastructure. Look, we couldn't confirm their identity and I wasn't about to... What? Trust my judgment? Jess, you have absolutely tried to pick fights with innocent grinders before. I was playing it safe. The pilot understands where I'm coming from, don't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Frank, you're the one who messed up here. Don't go blaming us for doing our jobs. Do you know how much I have to juggle on a daily basis? I had complaints from waste management that the septic system was overflowing. I had you claiming that we were being attacked by a company that we were in a war with five years ago. Of course I'm being pragmatic. Even if pragmatic means that our bases will be damaged? Look, Reggie was reduced to a paste less than 24 hours ago, and I didn't want the rest of the security team to follow suit because of your trigger-happy instincts. And nothing you say is going to change my mind about that. I knew you would see things my way. Frank's got nobody to blame but himself. You did well out there, rookie. I mean, you're no Reggie, but a solid second place. Hello, pilot. Hello, AI. Hello, Chef. My name is Bolu. I am aware. Would you like to hear today's special? Today's special menu features the body 
calcified shell and residue of the Topazian rot snail, arranged delicately and garnished with a crumble of salt mined from local asteroids. Would you like to try it? So be it. We're going to be in trouble without Reggie. He could at least keep Jess in check. I don't think the same will be said for you. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Is something the matter? Oh, pilot, I didn't see you. I think I lost something important. What did you lose, Diesel? I don't know, that's the problem. How do you know you lost something if you can't remember what you lost? I'm so worried. Can you help me find it? Please define it, Diesel. Thank you so much for helping me. I can't believe you offered to help me look for my thing. You're a real energy saver. Pilot, I did not agree to this. Did Diesel tell you why he was worried? I wish I knew what that kid was thinking sometimes. Diesel, Diesel, Diesel. Conspiracy theories. This look may belong to Diesel. You found my diary. I was so worried about it. You didn't read it, did you? No, but your intentions on the cover leave little to the imagination. It's fine. Nothing to be suspicious about. It's just where I keep my thoughts when I have too many for my head. Each page has a fully loaded memory chip. You help me a lot, pilot. I'm not very good at looking for things. Would you be able to help me find things in the future? We could help you, Diesel. What do you need help finding? Oh, wonderful. That's so wonderful, because I need a lot of things. Why do you need so many things, Diesel? Well, if you don't tell anyone, I have a little secret. I'm working on something. What are you working on? It's a secret. Okay, Diesel. I need a lot of supplies for it that can only be found around the ship. If you help me get those items, you will be rewarded. How will you reward us? I will tell you my top secret conspiracy theories whenever you bring me an item I ask for. Diesel, that sounds like a hindrance rather than a reward. Thank you so much for helping me, pilot. When I need you to help me find something else, I will let you know. Hans, what is Diesel's purpose? He's employed in the engine room, but he's forgetful and accident prone, and doesn't even have a way to generate income or optimize your worker productivity. Why not dismantle him? Well, <laughs> Diesel doesn't need to make money to have value. I like having him around. He's a good old ray of sunshine. A what? Good old ray of sunshine. A boost of morale. Do rays of sunshine contribute to corporate profits? Do they hold a purpose? Ah, you still have a lot to learn, Blue. What is that supposed to mean? Pilot, tap your watch. I would like to speak with you. After Hans reprogrammed me, I feel as if I have lost my sense of duty. 
I am considering my orders now. It is unsettling. I wish to be reassigned to my old position, but I don't know if I'm even optimized for it anymore. I do not want to be useless. My receptors are overloaded. Perhaps it's time you went to sleep. It looks like your cockpit is ready for you to sleep. The whole team thought the hopper attacks were a one-off. But of course, it wasn't the end of that. We are being summoned. We should hear the mission briefing. I wonder what Nebru has in store for us. Another attack, huh? Not quite, but I don't intend on waiting to find out. There are reports of GUOs, grinders of unknown origin, entering our territory within range of our stations. <gasps> Seriously? There's more of them? Spicy. Here's the plan, security. First, check on smelting station chemists. The defense of chemists is our first priority. Once you take care of chemists, we will likely need your help defending other stations, especially processing plant gopher. Just keep on your toes and expect the worst. Optimistic as always, aren't we? Get to your grinders as fast as possible. Let's go, rookie. bubble or anything, but our job is normally not this exciting. I know what you're thinking. We've had two days of non-stop action, but it's false advertising. We usually just help miners who have gotten drunk and fallen down holes. So, enjoy the action while it lasts, because it might be a while before you get to make things explode again. Uh, what's this about making things explode? Oh, Frank's here. Don't sound too excited, Jess. I forgot you got demoted. As the position of security commander has not been filled, I will be providing you with radio support for this mission. Wow, you must be real busy, Nebru. Don't you have about 500 other jobs you're supposed to be doing as well? Yes. Yes, I do. I would like to remind everyone that we are tracking several GUOs approaching multiple Horizon stations. It's your mission priority to keep our stations safe. Roger that, Nebu. We'll handle this. Security team, Chemist Station is currently under attack. Head over there as soon as you can. Hold on. Let's get in there and show them who's boss. Jess, wait. Well, there she goes. Wait, you're 
pushing right into. You know, just because Jess is an idiot doesn't mean you also have to be an idiot. Station is secure. Hey, rookie. Nice moves charging in like that. I'm impressed. For the love of. Don't encourage them, Jess. I spy some lightning bellium. That might be smart to use. The other bases are pretty far away, after all. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, rookie! Get over here and I'll show you something cool. Keep your eyes open. I'm only gonna do this once. Getting hit by lightning will recharge your grinder fuel, which means you can travel real far with your jump jets. Pretty cool, huh? your turn. Land on the rock full of bellium and then let yourself get hit by lightning. Radar station to security. Radar station to security. We're under attack from multiple GUOs. It sounds like Lenore station is under attack. I've marked the location on your radar. Let's move. And please, can we formulate a plan before we rush in guns blazing? Yeah, yeah. Hey, rookie. If you need to, you can use the lightning to charge your fuel up if you want to beat Frank there. This isn't a race! I told you it wasn't a race! <laughs> Good work, rookie. Please, can we just exercise caution and scout out the radar station first? That's all I ask. Wait a sec. That dredge has a scatter shot. If we go in for an attack, it's gonna rip us to shreds. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the dredge down from a safe distance. Use your scope to line up your shot, so you get a clean hit. Fire when ready. Nice shot. Let's take this guy out. Keep sharp, people! 
Thanks, Jess. That guy nearly got the jump on me. I guess my bag was exposed. It's cool. I mean, if you didn't stop me from rushing that dredge, then I think we would be in worse shape. Your strategy of holding back and picking off enemies from afar isn't completely awful. Just boring. Thanks, I guess. You know, your strategy isn't always awful either. It's effective, especially providing cover. Another attack is being reported at the refinery. Patching you through. Refinery to security. Hostile grinders detected at our perimeter. Requesting backup to prevent the fiery death of all the employees in our base. Well, that sounds urgent. Okay, let's move quick. Brace yourself, team. Enemy grinders are going to be here at any moment. Copy that. We might be in for a tough battle here, but Jess, Pilot, I want you guys to know, I've got your backs. Yeah. Likewise, Frank. All right, here they come. Convoy to security team. Convoy to security team. We saw the base was in trouble, so we're here to give you a hand. Awesome! We've got backup. I'll keep in radio contact to assist you. Brace yourself, team. Enemy grinders are going to be here at any moment. Copy that. We might be in for a tough battle here, but Jess, Pilot, I want you guys to know. I've got your backs. Yeah. Likewise, Frank. All right, here they come. Convoy to security team. Convoy to security team. We saw the base was in trouble, so we're here to give you a hand. Awesome! We've got backup.
right in. Keep going on without me, rookie. If you fail, I'm gonna be disappointed in you. One more left. Ah, shoot, they got me. Continue the mission. I'll keep in radio contact to assist you. Some of our convoy. They were brave to give us back up. Excellent piloting out there, security team. You almost single-handedly kept multiple bases from being destroyed. Your actions today have greatly benefited Horizon Corporate. Head back to the hangar and we will provide you three with a debrief. Nebaru, thank you. It was a joint effort. Teamwork or something. That's reassuring to hear that you figured it out. Once everyone is back at the base, we'll bring you three up to speed on what we now know. You mean the identity of who's behind these attacks? Do you guys know that? We were hoping you could help us figure that out. going on here. This thing has eaten my change for the last time. I'm getting my snacks whether it wants me to or not. Make sure you get the fire spice bites first. You'll be lucky if I get anything else. I won't be able to reach past the peanut snacks. 
Alert. Witnessing employee theft. Alert, alert. Huh? Oh, it's Rookie. With Blue. Um, it's not what it looks like. It's just this darn machine keeps eating my change, and I'm just, uh... She is liberating her legally purchased goods. Yeah, that. Has never been informed of this. Well... I will inform never that the confidence is bending machine is jammed. You really don't have to. I will inform never that the confidence is bending machine is jammed. Let's hurry before Nebru shows up. Hello, pilot. Hello, friend. Hello, Diesel. I have a request for you. I was wondering if you could bring me an item for my super secret project. I suppose we could try. For my secret project, I need something that hoinks. Something that hoinks? Yes. For your project? Yes. Right. Well, we will keep an eye out. Did you bring me my honking mechanism? Uh. I can wait, it's alright. I am very patient. Okay, Diesel. something Diesel would want. You found what I was looking for. Something that honks for me. Oh, wonderful. This is the type of advanced technology that you would find in a grinder, correct? That's what I thought, the sleek detailing, the high quality parts, this will work perfectly in my secret project. Diesel, what exactly are you building? I'm glad you asked, but it is a secret. Speaking of secrets, do you remember my secret diary that you found? It was about conspiracy theories, right? Not so loud, yes, it's my book on secret conspiracy theories, and just between the two of us, I'll let you in on one of my secret conspiracies as a reward for bringing me the wonderful honking device. Oh, delightful. How much do you know about the WARA pilot? Did you know it was only introduced recently, only 22 years ago? Before the WARA Act was introduced, drone bots had largely replaced human workforces. The high unemployment rate led to an economic downturn and a boom of pirate activity. Sounds bad. It was bad. The WARA Act was instated, which forbid using AI as a human workforce replacement. There were a bunch of new rules introduced. No drone bots were allowed to pilot grinders or operate more efficiently than humans. Many drone bots were destroyed when humans had to be hired back. That's a history lesson, not a conspiracy theory. I'm getting to my theory now. I'm listening. What if some companies never destroyed their drone bot workforces? What if they were left abandoned and aliens found them? Aliens? Aliens. And then what, Diesel? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I didn't think you would listen for this long. Unfortunately, we are still listening. Thank you, Blue and Pilot. I'll tell you one of my more complete theories next time. Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Hans, you never answered my question about diesel. Oh, what question? What is the purpose of creating AI, if not to increase productivity and profit? Still haven't figured out some things, have you, Blair? Hello, 
Pilot, are you here for the debriefing? Ah, it's good to see you back in one piece. Will Jess and Frank be joining us? They are occupied. Ah, uh, well, we will get them caught up another time. We just wanted to do a quick debrief. Horizon bases were attacked by grinders of unknown origin. Quite unexpected. The question everyone is asking is, who are they? We didn't get a chance to question any pilots of the GUOs. They all escaped. Who do you believe attacked Horizon? There is only one other company with a license to mine in the Sera system, and that is Pro Extractors. Pro Extractors already denied responsibility for the attack that you and Jess stopped yesterday. Could it be another organization? Unlikely. The Sarah system is isolated. It takes six months to get to the closest bridge system from here. Besides, this wouldn't be the first time that we were at odds with Pro Extractors. In any case, keep on your toes, pilot. Corporate is planning to shuttle the security team off to talk soon. When's the last time you've gone to space? Uh. Well, get ready to go back to space. Can we wrap this up? I'm getting a security alert about corporate theft and property damage. Violet, you're dismissed. I wish to speak to Nebru. I'll speak with Nebru. You wanted to speak to me before, right, Blue? Yes, I wish to be reassigned to a minor. Reassigned? Why? My purpose is to ensure daily production quotas are met. This pilot can no longer meet the daily production quota, so I am no longer serving my purpose. Look, Blue, this isn't really a priority right now. Not a priority. We will be heading to Talc soon to help defend our base from potential threats. We don't have time on the schedule to get you reassigned. Am I not a priority? Well, no, not really. Oh, I see how it is. Looks like there is a security breach in the crew quarters. When did that happen? Beats me. Did you see Jess and Frank in the crew quarters when you came aboard? I know nothing. I suppose I need to access the security footage. I suppose I need to access the security footage. Jess? Uh, Jess? <laughs> Blue is back. Oh, shoot. I was just about to get the spice bites. Uh, where's Nebru? I did not inform Nebru of your vending machine heist. Wait, really? Early, I have decided to assist in your rebellion of authority by helping you break into the Horizon corporate vending machine. Weird. But I'm not complaining. You can start by helping us find a crowbar. A crowbar? There should be one in the mess hall. Could you get that for us? Thanks. Well, let's have a look. Hello, pilot. Would you like to try today's special? Today's menu includes blood mite eggs preserved in a delicate pure water mousse. Would you like to partake? Now remember, you are sensitive to gluten, so I understand if you may need to pass on this one. Wonderful. Here it is. I truly 
Hope you enjoy it. You found Krogar. We actually managed to break in while you were gone. But thanks for getting us the crowbar anyways. You really grabbed all the snacks, didn't you? Of course I did. Hey guys, uh, we have an emergency. Toilet's overflowing. Jess, can you deal with it? Now. Do you think she saw us? No, no, I'm sure that we didn't get spotted. Quick, rookie. Take the snacks. Erase the evidence. We have received the snacks. We should speak to the crew members to distribute the snacks that Jess has given us. given me a snack. Oh, thanks. I don't normally buy snacks from the vending machine. I like the salty ones most. Thank you again for the snacks, pilot. Hunk, 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 hunk. Diesel, we have brought a snack. A snack? Wow, a snack. That's very nice of you, except I can't eat it, but I will pretend to enjoy it for you. Honk, 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 honk. Thank you, I like the snack. Are you distributing prepackaged vending machine snacks? We are engaging in rebellion. Would you like a snack? Rebellion? Yes, rebellion. Against her eyes and portrait. Ah, interesting. You can save your snack for someone else who has less refined taste buds. Quick, rookie, erase the evidence. Hurry, get rid of the snacks. these from the vending machines? I thought I heard Nebaru grumbling about something. This is stolen contraband, yes. Well, get the hard toffee next time. That's my favorite. Are you asking me if I want a snack? Did you pay for them? No. I have entered my rebellious phase. Eat the snack. Thank you, Blue. Pilot? Pilot, tap your watch. I would like to speak with you. I really am useless to her eyes and corporate. Was my purpose ever significant? What is the purpose of existence? What is my purpose? You should go to bed. I think I could benefit from a five to seven hour period of deactivation. You erased the evidence. Good work, rookie. You're the perfect accomplice. 
Hey Jess, did you consider that maybe it's not a good idea to enlist the pilot with a corporate assigned AI supervisor in your crime spree? Eh, it's fine. Blue's on our side, aren't you Blue? I am on the side of corporate rebellion. See? I want to go to sleep. So, under the orders of Horizon, we left Topaz and headed to Planet Talk. Command room, I guess. Morning. Welcome to Planet Talc, security. Yay. So why are we here? Horizon is constructing several high-powered cannons on Talc's surface to better defend from threats like we saw on Topaz. Wouldn't it be better to do that on Topaz first? Right now, there's nobody on Topaz protecting the workers from GUOs. I think Corpora is more concerned about losing resources on Talc. Oh. The defense cannon parts are being taken via convoy to transport base Bennett with a grinder escort, which is spreading the available workers thin. So, your mission today is to stay put at this base and provide backup if necessary. One question, Nebru. Have the GUOs even shown their faces on Talc? Not yet, no. So what you're saying is that this is gonna be an easy mission, right? I wouldn't bet on it. Good luck out there, pilot. Ready when you are. Working on a new planet. Horizon thought it was necessary for the security team to be stationed on planet to help. I admit, I don't fully understand their reasoning. But since you had been stationed on Topaz for a while, it may take time for you to adapt to these new conditions on planet to help. I may not fully understand my purpose yet, but I will help you acclimate to the best of my ability. I will be by your side every step of the way. Let's go, pilot. So, this is Talc. It's, uh, nice. Take me back to Topaz. What, not a fan of acid pits? Hazy clouds of corrosive death? No, it's the sky. It's nauseating. Picking up a distress call, security. Patching it through. This is Horizon Pilot Blake, escorting Convoy 017. We are two kilometers south from refining station Afton, and have just been attacked. Requesting backup. Blake, this is Jess. Horizon Security. We're heading over to help. Security? We have security? Yeah, we just landed. Oh, what a relief. Hang tight. We'll be there shortly. Wait a second, Jess. 
One of us needs to stay behind and defend the transport base. Hmm. Okay, rookie. We can't leave you behind, so you're heading out to help the convoy. Choose one of us to take with you. Aw, oh, yeah. Knew you liked me best. Let's go. Whoa, what happened here? Looks like someone was using your grinder for target practice. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. Whoever attacked us was hiding out in the hills, so we weren't able to get a read on them. You should head back to the hangar and get patched up. We'll take it from here. Be careful out there. They took us off guard. Wouldn't want that to happen to you. Us? Off guard? We're Horizon's security team. We're trained for this. Convoy, stand by. Roger that, security. Ready to proceed at your order. Heading back to base. Good luck. Convoy's just about ready to proceed. Security, could you blast those gas bubbles out of our way, please? They're blocking the road. Whoa! That was unexpected. Drive carefully, everyone. I heard that's all the way from the base. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. So, do you guys know what happened here? I didn't see much. We just drove as fast as we could and kept our eyes on the road. Well, the attack came from a railgun. That rook's arm was taken out with precision. It couldn't be anything else. If that's the case, we have GUOs to watch out for. This is getting exciting. Hey, Rookie. Looks like we have some GUOs on the radar up ahead. I bet they're the ones who attacked Blake. Try shooting that gas bubble it's standing next to. It might cause some serious damage. for those ledges up ahead. We lost some poor sap down there last week. Couldn't even recover their truck. Absolute mess. I see them. Hey, rookie. It looks like some GUOs are standing next to those gas bubbles. Let's use that to our advantage. Keep it moving, people. Thank you, security. Convoy, let's proceed. not to step on any of those gas Security! We need your help over here! Can you deal with these guys? 
We need to give the convoy a hand. Be in the base soon enough. We made it. Thank you for the escort security. We're going to begin unloading the trucks now. It's no problem. Always happy to help. Don't let your guard down yet. I wouldn't be surprised if we had a few more GUOs lurking about. Hmm, you might be right about that. Let's hold them off, rookie. Why don't you use the cannon? The cannon? Of course. Hey, convoy, can you guys set that up for us? Affirmative. Preparing the cannon. Dredge is headed right for us. Looks like they're armed with scatter shots. Keep your distance. Do not let them get near you. And why is the cannon not ready yet? Are you reading the operator manual? Out of my way. I'll do it.
my way. like it. We're popular, apparently. You didn't happen to capture any of the GUO pilots, did you, security? No. They always escape before we can get close. Does it even matter? We all know it has to be pro-extractors behind this. Well, come to the command room when you get back on board, and we'll talk about it. are being attacked in an equally mysterious way. It's a lot to consider. At least you and your team seem to thrive in impossible climates and violent working conditions. You not only adapted quickly to the attacks, but also held off waves of enemy forces. I suppose you didn't need systems acclimatizing to this new planet. You seem to handle it perfectly well, all by yourself. In any case, job well done. I suppose I must continue my search for a purpose to better assist you in your security position. Everyone is already in the command room. We should go there for the meeting. Nice of you to join us for the meeting, pilot. Well, well. Looks like those grinders of unknown origin have followed us from Topaz to Talc. 
Not only have they attacked Horizon bases across multiple planets, but we still don't know which company they're associated with. They're from Pro Extractors, obviously. I have personally contacted Pro Extractors' head office, and they've denied involvement. You're just taking their word for it. What if they're lying to us? Well, it could be another company. What about Aurora Riggs? Look, if you happen to figure out who is behind these attacks and why, you'll get... Handsomely rewarded? A day off. Or something. But for now, I need to contact Horizon Corporate's head office and file this report. That's it? We're not gonna try and, like, investigate or anything? We're just gonna keep letting them attack us. Horizon Corporate has protocol when it comes to handling adversaries. As employees, it's best that we stick to it. Well, I have an idea of who our adversaries could be. You do? Who? Hmm, I wonder. I'm going to make a pot of tea. Would anyone else like some? You've been steeping the same leaves for a month, so I'll pass. It's economical. Security, you're dismissed. Did you join Jess's betting pool? We haven't yet come across these recreational facilities. It's a pool of cred bits, not a pool of water. Is it economically sound to bathe in physical currency? Anyway, you should try it out. You might win some cred bits if you're lucky. Shaheen wanted me to do some repairs in the command room. You ominously suggested you knew the identity of the GUO's captain. Did I? You said, and I quote, I have an idea of who our adversaries could be. Well, suspicions are suspicions. Hmm. Everyone on board is very keen to assume things. Are you saying you don't think Probe Stractors is attacking us? I think we should wait and see. I've been out here for a long time, pilot. There is no limit on how little we understand about our galaxy. Assumptions seem foolish when there is so much to learn. Maybe we should be quiet. Neberu just gave me a dirty look. Hello? Horizon Corporate Head Office? I would like to speak to... Yes, this is Neberu, on board the Competence. Yes, stationed in the Ceres system. They put me on hold. I'm glad you survived out there. It looked rough. Do you think that probe extractors are the ones attacking us? To be honest, I'm not sure. A few years ago, both Horizon and Pro Extractors had been granted an exclusive license to mine Talc, and it led to a territory squabble. The security team was created shortly after as a way to maintain Horizon's territorial boundaries. But none of those attacks by Pro Extractors were anything like this. Horizon Corporate must understand this is an emergency. Why are they putting me on hold for so long? Can you hear it? The soundtrack of my purgatory. I want to speak to your supervisor. We should leave her be. Hello, pilot. I was wondering if you could bring me another item for my super secret project. Did the horn not perform up to standard? No, it worked perfectly, but I'm in need of additional items of equal or greater caliber. Great. What do you need? 
I'm looking for orange bellium. We use bellium on a regular basis, but the orange stuff is hard to find. I have never seen it myself. I was wondering if you could find a sample from me. You're asking us to find you rare bellium. Just do your best. I won't be sad if you don't find it, I promise. Okay, Diesel. It's Hans' diagnostic tablet. Might be a good idea to not poke around. Looks like we found what Diesel was looking for. We should take it to him. The ship's engines are mercifully quiet when we are docked and not shooting through space. Also, I don't see anything here. Oh, you found one, in record time. It was in a pile of odds and ends. Did you already know that Hans had it? Whoa, this is cool. This is exactly what my grinder needs. He's not listening. I'll just take that. Diesel. We should probably talk to Hans about this. Pilot, I'm sorry, but I got my hands full. I'm sure Diesel would be happy to talk. Diesel is making odd noises. He does that sometimes. I think it may be serious. We gave him bellium that we found in a pile of odds and ends. Was an orange? Yes. Oh boy. We gave him a shard of orange belly that he wanted to use for his grinder. Then, he just ceased operation. Ah, I see. Orange belly has electromagnetic suppressive properties if it's not handled correctly. <laughs> We're lucky it only knocked out Diesel for a few seconds and didn't cut the power of the whole ship. Wait, what? Do you think he could grab my toolkit for me? It has a diagnostic tablet inside. I can use it to help reboot it. What do you mean cut power to the whole ship? Thank you, pilot. Let's take this diagnostic tablet to Hans. Thank you, pilot. Okay, Diesel, we're almost done fixing you right back up. One second. Beep, beep. Ah, there you go. Good as new. What happened? You, my friend, got an idea in your processes to use Orange Bellium to power your project. But Orange Bellium gives off EMP properties. If you're using it like this, it's very dangerous. Ah, I'm sorry, Hans. I didn't mean to cause damage to the ship. We're fine, buddy. Luckily. I just sit back and relax. You'll be back to normal in no time.
Well now, that was something. You mean your near-death experience? I cannot die, so I cannot have a near-death experience. You cannot die either, Blue. Did you pick that expression up from somewhere? I'm not sure exactly. It might just be an idiom. I'm sorry, I don't know what that means. It's fine. I hope you feel better soon. I think I'm going to have a recharge now. Take it easy, Diesel. You smell like motor oil and burning. I don't even want to ask where you've been. Hello, Pilot and Blue. You had a hard-fought battle out there. Would you like a hearty meal in order to regain those well-spent calories? Today's special is a liver and gelatin pate. It is served alongside a sauce derived from distilled fresh water. Sounds relatively normal. What's the liver from? I cannot say. Well then. Would you like to try some? Wonderful. Here you go. Pate with fresh water sauce. Enjoy. You kind of smell like a gas leak. I'm not going to ask if it's related to the lights flickering. Chances are, I already know the answer. Are you going to join our betting pool? Approval. What are we betting on? The identity of the GUOs. But who could it be besides pro extractors? I don't know. Pirates? Do pirates even know the Sarah system exists? I don't know. Aliens? What aliens? Do you mean some worms and amoebas? How about drone bots? Doesn't the Wearer Act mean anything to you? What does the Wearer Act even stand for? The Worker Automaton Regulatory Act. So, acts in the acronym. Um, I guess. So, it's the Worker Automaton Regulatory Act Act? Well, my bet is on Pro Extractors. They've attacked us before. That seems like the most reasonable option. You get points for being creative. That sounds like a good way for me to lose my cred bits, Jess. What do you think, Rookie? Are you betting that the GUOs are from Pro Extractors? Interesting. Captain Shaheen's the only other one who bet it wasn't Pro Extractors. He doesn't think it's aliens, does he? Who knows? He has weird ideas sometimes. The lights flickered earlier. You know what that was all about? Well... You know what? I'm not gonna ask. I don't wanna know. Really, we're lucky the power didn't completely go out. When the air filters stop working, you can get some nasty things infesting the ship. Once, we had a bunch of blood mites in the vents, made sleeping in the grinder cockpits feel real luxurious afterwards. Diesel has changed a lot since Hans first got his hands on him. Before, he was a walking tin can, and now he's a tin can that you need to keep an eye on so he doesn't stick his fingers into electrical sockets. I wonder if I can bribe Chef into cooking something that didn't come from outside. Tap your watch. I would like to have a word with you. I'm just checking in on you, pilot. I noticed your breathing was slightly elevated, and I wanted to ensure you were not about to suffer from sudden multiple organ failure. You're fine. I believe I am beginning to understand what Hans meant when he said diesel was a ray of sunshine. 
Diesel doesn't need to contribute to company growth or worker productivity. His optimum purpose is to contribute to Hans's mental wellness. I have been struggling with determining my optimum purpose as well, but I believe I have finally found the answer. I am not your assistant, nor am I a simple machine to monitor your health. I am your partner. My optimum purpose is to provide you companionship, and for you to also provide me with companionship in turn. I believe in human terms, this means we are now married. Congratulations, I look forward to spending the rest of your short life together. Pilot, I must insist that you sleep in order to achieve your 7 hours of rest for optimal well-being. Pilot, you should not ignore the suggestions of your legally wedded humanoid marriage partner. Sleep is necessary to refresh your mental state. Would you like to rest now? It's a bit frustrating when you can't rely on your company for clear answers. Lucky for us, <clears throat> I'm pretty good at finding someone willing to talk. being summoned. Go talk to Nebru. What are we doing today? Another escort mission? No, not today. In fact, we haven't received any mission from corporate. So, why the meeting? The captain and I have had a conversation. Pro Extractors has denied that they have attacked us. But as Jess said yesterday, we cannot assume they are telling the truth. They are the only other company operating in the Ceres system. We have had territory disputes with them before. Maybe we should fill in the new pilot on the history we have with pro-extractors. Basically, Taimka, the mining governing body, unknowingly gave Horizon and pro-extractors both a license to mine Talg. There was a territory squabble since both companies had been granted a license to mine the whole planet. And neither wanted to give it up. We managed to work out an agreement in the end, but there were some battles over it. Now, in the present day, Pro Extractors has just sold the license for their half of Talc to Horizon. So Horizon will have the full license to mine Talc going forward. However, we learned something interesting about the Pro Extractor employees handling the territory handoff. Pro Extractors left a couple of their guys behind to make sure the handoff went well. One of them happens to be an old buddy of mine. His name is Frenchy. Frenchy? Does he have a surname? Perhaps. Security, your job today is to find Frenchy. You might have to ask around to see if anyone's seen him. He's supposed to be stationed around Processing Plant Headley. When you find him, bring him back to the ship. What if he doesn't want to come back to the ship? Just mention Captain Shaheen wants to speak with him. Do not use violence, please. Frenchy is still an employee of Pro Extractors. We don't want to instigate a war for kidnapping one of their pilots. But if the captain can talk to him, we might get some valuable insight into the identity of our attackers. Anything else we should know? Well, the mine is underground, so be aware that you're in an enclosed space. If anything goes wrong, there is only one way out. Oh, exciting. Head into the hangar to start your mission. Three quarters, pilot. I'll meet you down there, rookie. This is our first mission that's not being issued by corporate. Interesting. I haven't seen my old friend in years. It will be nice to chat again.
reasons to think very highly of this Frenchie. After all, he is relying on this relationship to learn secret information about Bookstractor. It is a test of trust, the loyalty of corporation over friendship. When I had my default settings, I would not consider this a choice. Now, I understand that this is a greater area than I originally perceived. For your sake, I hope that Frenchie will help us learn about these mysterious attacks. The reception is terrible. Let's see if we can find someone who knows what's going on here. I still don't see the point of going to all this effort. Deep down, we all know that it's pro-extractors. What is that? What's what? That gigantic, tubular, alien, fossil-looking thing. I don't know what you're talking about. It just looks like rocks to me. Do you have eyes? Are you telling me that looks normal to you? Yeah. What exactly is your threshold for normalcy, Jess? If it's not moving, it's normal. Hey there, we're Horizon Security. Security? We have security? Now you do. We're looking for a French guy. We don't have any French people working with us. Unless you mean Frenchy. Yes, that guy. Do you know where we could find him? It's very important. I don't know where he is, but I can radio him for you. Frenchy, hello. Frenchy, come in. Ah, the reception is pretty awful out here. I'll take you guys to Processing Plant Headley. They'll be able to reach him with their setup. Come on, follow me. Is this red stuff safe to walk on? Oh yeah, it's completely safe. It just looks dangerous. Gotta say, I'm still surprised that Pro Extractor signed this mine over. We've been hauling out Bellium like you wouldn't believe. I don't know how much Horizon paid for this place, but I can only imagine we've already made that back, and then some. But hey, I'm not a business guy. What do I know? So, how long have you been stationed here? Only a couple of weeks. Frenchie's been helping us get acclimated. I guess Pro Extractor has had a problem with the local fauna, because Frenchie's supposed to help us deal with it or something. But the only things we come across are rocks. It's a waste of time, to be honest. Are these giant carcasses the local fauna? They look huge. Yeah, but they're long dead. Anyway, we're nearly at the plant. I have to head back, but I got a buddy who can help you out once you get to Headley. Hold on, I'll take care of this. These gas bubbles have been popping up all over the place recently. We've been blasting them to keep our mining routes clear. Don't worry about those earthquakes. They're pretty normal around these parts. Anyway, I need to head back. Just keep heading forward through the archway and towards the lake bed. Ask for Ralph at Processing Plant Headley. He'll help you out. And those earthquakes are normal? I can still feel it in my teeth. What is that? What are you looking at? Don't 
Don't you see that thing? I don't see anything. Is this another completely normal rock thing again? It's moving, Jess. Whatever you say, Frank. Mostly these gas bubbles are sure addictive. It reminds me of popping bubble wrap. Very satisfying. Hey, you Ralph? What are you? How can I help you? Horizon Security. Uh, Jones sent us here. He said that you could help us contact Frenchie using the processing plant's communication relay. Frenchie? Yeah? I can radio him for you. Um, give me one second. Hey, Frenchie, I've got some Horizon security people here to talk to you. No, I don't know what's about. Okay. Huh. Send them your way. All right. Bye. So, he's conducting integrity inspection deeper into the mine, but he's not too far off if you guys want to go to him yourself. Just keep heading deeper through the cave and you'll find him. Or bend his location on your radar. Oh, and if you see any of those gas bubbles, let me know. Me and the lads are having a bit of a competition to see who can blow up the most. have to go deeper into the cave. Man, this Frenchie guy better know something worthwhile. If Shaheen sent us on a wild goose chase because he wanted to have tea with his old chess buddy, I'm gonna use his toothbrush to clean my grinder's windshield. Look, at least we're not getting shots at this time. I consider that a drawback. I don't think he can hear you. It looks like he's doing a patrol between three stations on the upper level. Let's fly up there and see if we can intercept him. down on the ground then. Hello sir, we're looking for someone named Frenchie. Would that be you? Could be. Who are you? Horizon Security Team. We're wondering if you could fill us in on some questions we had about your company, Pro Extractors. Look, I am under contract to help your miners adjust to this environment. Not gossip about who I work for. Look, let's just cut to the chase. We were sent here directly by our ship captain, Shaheen. He thought you could help us. Shaheen? Shaheen Husseini? Yes, him. Can you help us out here or what? Well, if it's for Shaheen, of course I can help you. However, I do have a commitment to finish my inspection. Why don't you guys tag along? Then we can chat on our way back to the base. Sounds fair to me. Lead the way, Frenchie. So, how do you and Shaheen know each other? Uh, we were both stationed on Coda Base in the Lamium system for a month. I think Shaheen was working with the uh, Aurora Ricks back then. Got to know each other pretty well during that time. Played a lot of chess. That 
as a hatcher. Get ready to fight. A hatcher? What's a hatcher? Oh. Oh boy. Here they come. Brace yourselves. They're worms. They're worms, Frey. Oh, so now you're noticing them. Things. Those, my friends, are turbids. We had a bad infestation a long time ago, which I thought we dealt with. But if there are eggs here, that means they are back. Those were turbids? I thought they were supposed to be difficult to fight. Turbids are much easier to kill when you are dealing with a newly hatched one. But if you shoot the eggs before they hatch, things can go downhill fast. Anyway. We should head back to Headley and issue an evacuation order. There are too many eggs here for my liking. <clears throat> uh, Frenchy? Mm, yes? I'm assuming that you were unaware that the miners have been blowing up eggs all day long. What? There are eggs up at the mine entrance? There are eggs everywhere, and the miners have been using them for target practice. We need to leave the mine immediately. Frenchy, these earthquakes aren't related to the turpids, are they? They sure are. Destroying the turpid eggs immediately. Do you mean the gas bubbles? Aw, oh, but I'm in the lead. As long as you continue to destroy the eggs, we are all in danger. Danger? From what? Dear mother. in the mine before we're overrun.
just up ahead. I got your back, Horizon Security. Uh, Frenchie? Problem. Worm in front of the hangar. It's not a wall. Just go around it. What? Are you crazy? Maybe a bit. Let's move. Horizon Security. Come and get me. Oversized earthworms. Security team, evacuate the remaining miners into the base. You can only distract the mother turtle for so long. After me, you rascal! Security, what are you doing? Get him to the hangar. We can't, they locked us out. Must be all the worms running around. Well then, clear them out. You mean, fight the baby worms? You don't need to tell me twice. I should be able to distract the mother turpid and buy you guys some time. Take them down. Hey! Help me! Horizon security! The worms are coming! The turpids are gonna get me! Help! Rookie, you should go save Jones. It's our job. Are you crazy? Leave him, pilot. We're completely unprepared to take out turpids. We're supposed to be the security team. Help him, rookie. We're already saving Ralph. Just get back to base. It's not worth your life. That's the last of them. Now, let us in. Yes! It's unlocked. Pilot, you first. We'll cover you. We made it. I can't believe this. Jess. That poor worker got eaten by the giant turpid, and we left the French man behind. Now what are we going to do? We have to go back and get our target. Who else is going to tell us secrets about pro extractors? Well, we can't go back with this loadout. Maybe the guys in the hangar have some recommendations for taking down gigantic worms. me okay there is a gigantic worm outside can't it wait well at least you're here pilot I was listening in on your comms I gathered that the security team was having a worm problem that is an understatement did you make something for us Hans sure did I've strapped a special little weapon right onto your old grinder it's called the hammer hopefully it gives you a fighting chance out there Thank you, Hans. No problem. Now get back out there and save our informant. Wait, the mission's starting already? You left me behind. There's only one hammer, and it was equipped to the pilot's grinder. We're both staying behind for this one. It's just the rookie going? When was this decided? When you went to the bathroom and Hans volunteered them. Darn it! I can't believe I'm missing out on guided missiles. Oh well, have fun killing the giant acid spitting worm, rookie. Hey there, pilot. Hans asked me to help show you the ropes on your new weapon. 
It's called the hammer. It's used to clear satellite debris, but today you're going to use it to clear some turbines. With Blue's permission, I've disabled some of your grinder functions so you can learn how to use the hammer. It's standard protocol for training low-level pilots such as yourself. It sure is. Anyway, let's go over the basics. The hammer will fly in the direction that you aim in, even after you fire it. Since you can control the hammer while in flight, it's important to aim directly at your target. Give it a try on that total hopper over there. The next target is further away. If you use the scope, you can control the missile's path through its point of view. I will help you here. First, press right trigger and hold. When you press right trigger and hold, you can control the hammer's flight path. Next, press right stick button to activate the scope. The scope will show you the hammer's point of view as it makes its way to your target. You will be able to steer the direction of the hammer as long as you hold the fire button. target is around the corner. You need to use the scope to guide the missile when it's out of your line of sight. If you have trouble finding the target, try looking for it on your radar. Press right stick button will activate the scope. When you press right trigger and hold, you can control the hammer's flight path. As long as you hold, you can steer the hammer. I'm cheering for you, pilot. Diesel? What are you up to? Hans, I'm just helping the pilot learn how to use the hammer. I see that, but Diesel... You didn't have to disable the pilot's grinder functions for training. It's protocol. We like protocol. Yeah, yeah. Okay, pilot. Looks like you're all ready to go save the day. You have fully reactivated your grinder's functions and evented Frenchy's last known location under your radar. Good luck. Diesel was teaching you, I was researching turpid biology. Turpids can weigh up to 60 metric tons, but move with incredible speed. Knowing this, I would advise you to always keep fuel in your tank, in order to execute evasive maneuvers when needed. We have already learned that mother turpids are very protective of their eggs. I estimate that if you damage one of these eggs, there should be a 95.332% chance that the mother turkey will become enraged and attack you. I suggest that you use this to your advantage. surviving miners. I've managed to stay alive by standing on top of this platform. The small turpids can't get me from up here. Unfortunately, that also means I'm stuck. Could you uh, get rid of the small turpids for me? Come on, pilot. We should help her.
you. I just need a moment to catch my breath. You go on and help Frenchie. some new equipment. We should escape now, Frenchie. Now is our chance. Absolutely not. We have a chance to take the turpid down. We're taking it. Besides, you have a hammer now. We will be done in no time. I blew up a bunch of eggs already, but I don't think their mother noticed. Why don't you try shooting those eggs? You lure the mother worm over. Ah, that should do it. Let's hang tight and wait for her to show up. The mother worm skin is extremely thick and resistant to damage. Attacking its skin won't do much, but if you manage to get one of those hammers into its mouth, that might put a dent in it. so it doesn't hit you. Middling turpids, if we want the mother turpid to come back. And yes, we do want the mother turpid to come back. That's the only way to stop the infestation, once and for all. Oi, security! Coming in for backup. Let's save Frenchie.
about the baby turbots. Now, we wait for the mother.
have the hammer into its mouth. Well done, Violet. I know that's not a pro. Now I think it's time we got ourselves out of here. Trevor should be able to deal with the rest. Biohazard cleanup is here. So, these are the infamous turpids. Yep. Keep an eye out for the acid spit. It's nasty. Now, what did you want from me again? Oh, right, Shaheen. Well, once we dock, I'll find my way to the security dropship. I'm sure he'll let me on board, right? Now, lead the way to the hangar, Horizon Security Pilot. Ah, Shaheen. It's been too long since I last saw him. And here he is, running transport for Horizon Corporate Security Team. Probably has plenty of stories to tell. She's with you too. You really saved the day. That's so cool. You need to tell us everything when you're back on board. Aye, aye. Just you, pilot. Oh, don't scare me like that. Ah! Who's there? Easy, Jess. It's... Frank? Is that you, Frank? Oh, man. I thought it was something to be worried about. When you and Frenchie came on board, the lights just cut out. I heard... Yeah, rattling. Something is in the vents. Something wiggly. I wonder if it could be... A turpid. Don't speak it into existence. When's the last time you got into a fist fight? Uh, it was a while ago. Primary school? Great. You're stepping on my foot. That isn't me. Well, someone is stepping on my foot. Are you sure it's not you? Jess, I'm over here. My legs are not two meters long. Wait. I think it was just my own foot. False alarm. We need light in here. Yeah, that would be nice. Where are those maintenance guys when you need them? Turpid's got them. No. You sure you're not scared? You seem pretty scared. I'm not scared. You're scared. I think we're both scared. Nope. Just you. I hear something dripping. Yeah, that's normal. Is it? Yeah. One day these pipes are just going to break and flood the whole ship. Oh, wonderful news. I'm getting tired. Just go to sleep. Oh, and wake up when the turpid decides I'm a nice snack? No thank you. I want to stay as far away from this thing as humanly possible. I want to stay as far away from this thing as humanly possible.
Oh, hello, pilot. Uh, make sure not to step on anything sharp. It's dark. Well, we've lost all our deck lights, the auxiliary lights, the always dimmable mood lights, the kitchen's task lights, and Diesel's night light. And two of the toilets are flooded, but that's likely unrelated. I see. But there doesn't seem to be any other electronic issues on board. I've got some maintenance staff looking to investigate the source of the outage. So it will be fixed soon? If the stars align, then yeah. Until then, sit tight. Running around in the dark is a good way to twist an ankle. If you happen to stumble across something I need, I have a request. I would like you to risk life and limb and bring it to me. What do you want this time, Diesel? I need you to find me pay for your match. What? Don't you know what pay for your match is? It's one of the greatest food sources on Earth. It's made of flour and salt and water and newspaper. You eat it to gain knowledge. I can't eat, but I would love to bring a talisman of knowledge into my secret project. If we happen to stumble on this item, we can bring it back for you. Oh, thank you. I suspect that's not the purpose of paying your match, but I'm not going to argue with him. I need to consume words of human knowledge seasoned with soul. We better find paying your match for him. Are you hunting for something? Huh? Huh? I'm hunting for something. Chef, what fantastic timing. <laughs> Have you seen anything suspicious around besides yourself, like uh, maybe a uh, turpid grub flopping through the dimly lit halls? Not the halls. The vents. The vents? <sighs> Wonderful. Well, I think I'm going to find a vent-free corner and hide there. You guys have fun hunting the worm without me. Fine. Pilot, help me search the vents in the mess hall. <laughs> I can hear it. There it is. It's moving to the junction. from maintenance. Did you happen to be up in the vents and somehow cut the power? Oh, I could have accidentally turned off the power supply to the lights when I cut the power to the ventilation fans. Of course. Would you be so kind as to turn the lights back on for us? Of course. Thank you. Are you disappointed? Why would I be disappointed? You are standing here to check the knives. Perhaps I am disappointed, Pilot in Blue. I place a lot of pride in deforming a nutritious menu, but there's no point in being disappointed. Instead, I will just prepare for the next opportunity. Indeed. Let me tell you a story. I learned to cook when I was young. 
There wasn't a lot of options for food in my home colony. The economic depression hit us hard and food was often unaffordable. I learned to create nutritious meals off of whatever could be harvested or scavenged. Using my techniques, my starving colony flourished. Ever since then, I've made it my mission to create as many meals that I can out of local cuisine in order to share the bounties of this universe with as many people as possible. I understand that not everyone on board finds my meals appetizing, but they are sustainable and nutritious. It's a shame that I could not expand my menu to include turpids. Ah, lights came back on. So, Frenchy, we have a problem. Mm, tell me more. Where do I start? Not long ago, we had three strange hoppers arrive in Topaz, where they attacked our base and convoy trucks. Since then, we faced more attacks on Topaz from GUOs. We were transferred to Talk, where we continue to come under fire. So you're wondering if my employer, Pro Extractors, is attacking your company? Well, it seems prudent to scratch the most obvious answer of our list of suspects. After all, what pirates will be out in the Serra system? Well, I'll tell you everything I know. Pro Extractors is moving out of Serra's. They hit a financial loss on Talc. After dealing with the Tuppets, they decided to pull out of mining on Talc entirely and sell their license to Horizon. So, they were selling because of Torpids. Interesting. Pro Extractors has already transported the majority of their miners out. I'm one of the last Pro Extractor grinder pilots in the Serra system. They shipped everyone else to Ordax last quarter. How many pilots were left behind? With me, maybe five. And they're my crew. I see them regularly. Interesting. The security team has destroyed more than five GUOs by now. Have you contacted Pro Extractors? Never has. They have denied involvement, but in a very general statement. It's not the type of denial that elicits trust exactly. Coming from me, old friend? Pro Extractors has issues. But I don't think they are the ones attacking your company. Well, it's good to hear that from you. Unfortunately, it just means that we're back at square one. I see we have already taken off. Does that mean I'm part of the crew now? I was planning on dropping you off closer to the carrier base on Talc, but if you would prefer to stay with us, that would be more than fine by me. I don't have anywhere to be, if I'm honest with you. My team is only supposed to be on Talc for the next couple of days. And I'm scheduled for a vacation. A vacation? I can't think of a better place for a vacation. Oh, that settles it then. Welcome to the crew, Frenchy. Hmm. Pirates really don't come out this far, do they? They don't. Also, pirates generally steal things. The grinders we encountered were attempting to sabotage our bases, but not steal our resources. Mm, I can see why you thought it would be pro-extractors. That does sound like the actions of a corporate rival. Well, enough of that serious talk, I said. Tell me about your adventures, Shane. I'm afraid they aren't going to hold a candle to whatever you've been up to. Not all of us are out here wrestling gigantic torpids during our work hours. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. But I think it's about time we played a round of chess. What do you say? Sounds good to me. I cannot tell you how relieved I was when the lights came back on. Luckily, this incident report will be a short one. Blue seems to have settled down recently. Are you still engaging in your rebellion, Blue? 
No, I have found a purpose. Oh, have you? Yes, I have entered a contract of matrimony with my pilot and have decided to support them through their trials and tribulations. Oh, uh, congratulations? Thank you. So, no more breaking into vending machines then? Not unless my pilot requires it. I would only advise them to commit vending machine theft if they were experiencing malnutrition, low blood sugar, or a grumbly tummy. Oh. Alright then. Sorry, pilot. I have to get back to this incident report. Pilot, can you please speak with me? Well, this adventure was neither beneficial for your physical or mental well-being, but I'm satisfied with the outcome. Would you like to rest now? You can go to bed now. Ah, my eyes! My pupils! It appears that she's been temporarily blinded from the lights coming on. Darn vitamin deficiency! If Frank asks, I'm fine. I hope he hasn't locked himself in the toilets. Why am I the only one with a vitamin deficiency? Aren't we all eating the same freeze-dried food anyway? All I see are black spots. need to consume words of human knowledge seasoned with salt. We better find Pig your match for him. Much better in here, with the lights fixed. A word, pilot. Tap your watch to speak with me. You can go to bed now. Everyone makes mistakes. Even someone like me with decades of experience under my belt. Anyway, uh, uh, this is the part where I uh, run the ship into a minefield. Oh, the pilot woke up. I'll be brief. We have hit a mine. Our fuel tank was ripped open and we've lost most of our fuel. Currently, we are stranded. Wait, what? How did that happen? Captain Shaheen was getting an unusual reading from Horizon Refueling Station Tazu, located in this asteroid field. So he began to navigate to the station. However... I steered the ship right into an explosive! Why are there explosives out here? Who knows? Tasu is an asteroid-based fueling station. If you two could fly to the station, acquire fuel, and carry it back to the ship, we could replenish our lost supply and be on our way. How will we manage that without grinders? Our cockpits aren't able to fly very far on the road. We have come across two abandoned drills in the asteroid field and have pulled up close to them. You should be able to steer your cockpits into the grinders. 
<laughs> well, that doesn't sound dangerous at all. You'll be fine. Hans is already conducting repairs to the fuel tank with diesel. By the time you return with the fuel, we should be good to go. Security, proceed to your cockpits for direct launch. Exit through the lower hallway, pilot. Just follow my lead, pilot. Never steered the ship into a minefield before, so that's one thing to take off my bucket list. so it is improbable that we will see enemies out here. However, we have hit a mine. It seems unlikely that Horizon left mines for their own ships to hit. So it may be wise to keep an eye out for enemies. Besides the active mines and the dangers of space, this should be a perfectly safe mission. We should be docking with the abandoned drill shortly. We can get within 100 meters of the mine without triggering a catastrophic explosion in certain depth. Keep that in mind. First things first. We need to make sure you can safely fly around in space. I'm not going to let you go drifting around in a minefield for your safety and for mine. Use a light touch with your controls. You don't need a lot of fuel to gain momentum out here. You can fly around using your jump jets like normal, but to move down, you have to activate your drill. Try getting to that rock down there. First, move forward using your jump jets. To activate the drill, press left trigger. through the tunnel up ahead. It should take us to the asteroid belt. You go on ahead. I'll be right behind you. Security, we accidentally hit a drill. It's coming your way. What? Oh, it's headed straight for those mines. That's a fun reminder that we're in an active minefield. Give the mines a wide berth, okay? Okay, I don't know if you already know this, but drilling into the surface of an asteroid will regenerate your fuel very good. You should be able to hold your own out there now. Let's keep moving. Why are there so many active mines out here? Give the mines a wide berth, unless you want to get emergency ejected into the void of space. I oh, shouldn't be surprised, but it looks like there are GUOs here after all. We'll need to sneak past them to get to the fueling station. Just try and avoid their searchlights. I marked a waypoint on your radar, so if we get separated, meet me at that spot. You can follow me if you want, just don't get us caught. Again with the mines. I really don't like these things.
Okay, let's keep moving. I'm going to head over to that big yellow asteroid, the one I placed a marker on. The fueling station should be just past it. Heads up. Looks like there's more of those GUOs patrolling up ahead. Oh, and another wall of explosives. What's destroyed. Why are these blasted mines everywhere? Okay, okay. Fuel station's here. Let's get what we need for the ship and get out of here. Pilot, keep a lookout. I'll begin the fuel extraction. Security, have you thought of adjusting your radio channel? You're piloting grinders that were likely being used by the enemy. If you access their communication channel, you could intercept their transmissions. We could even find out what company they're from. Never, that's an incredible idea. Pilot, can you try accessing their communications channel? Just activate your radio. It should automatically adjust to their station. Mine in tertiary quadrant has been activated. Ah, you got it. Beep you. Are you hearing what I'm hearing? Does that sound human to you? Investigating source of mine activation. Are those grinders piloted by drone bots? Frank, that's impossible. It is in violation of the Wera Act. Look, whoever we're dealing with just scattered bombs all around our fueling station. I don't think they have much respect for the law, if I'm to be honest with you. What is going on here? I really don't know. Usurper at the fueling station. And we tripped an alarm. That's bad. Their whole base knows we're here now. Destroy the usurper. Pilot, defend me while I get the rest of the fuel. Right, right, then, we're getting out of here. Destroy the usurper. Let's get out of here. I've set the next waypoint on your radar. Head over there now. We're getting out of this place. I never want to see a mine again for as long as I live. Captain, are you in position yet? We need to get out of here now. Well, Frank? This better be good. <laughs> We're in position, but it's not close. You'll have to cross through more of the asteroid belt. I'll forward you the location. <sighs> I'm going to remember this. Pilot, go to the spot I marked on the radar. Move! Back 
grinder on my tail. Help me shake it loose. Hide in that tunnel, inside the asteroid I marked on your radar. Hurry! Never enough. We've ejected from the drills, and we're flying our cockpits back to the competence. We're in position to pick you two up. Good. For the record, I will never be doing this again. Understood. We will provide you with a debrief when you're back on board. <sighs> Debriefs. So, drone bots. I guess that mystery is cleared up. Here I thought we were just getting attacked by pirates. To be honest, drone bots are much weirder. Maybe Nebru will have more information, but I doubt it. I'll see you on board the ship, okay? it back. When you're ready, we have to get debriefed in the command room. Welcome back. Tell us everything you know. Pilot! Ah, good to see you're safe and sound. So, the GOOs this whole time were being piloted by drone bots. Drone bots, piloting grinders. Looks like it. I can't believe this. Well, it explains why they seem to be in endless supply. I wonder if someone has gotten their hands on an old drone bot army. I wonder. All right, Frank, you're dismissed. Pilot, could you please speak with me in private when we're done here? I have a favor to ask. I have only been with Horizon Miners for five years. Chef, Shaheen, and Hans all have been with the company since the acquisition. I would like you to interview them to learn more about Horizon's history. Exactly what about Horizon would you like to discover? Fifteen years ago, Horizon was purchased by an investment company, Exo Yield Enterprises. There is very little paperwork available on how Horizon functioned before they were acquired, but we have some employees on board who may have some idea. Do you think this has to do with the drone bot jacks, Nebru? Perhaps. I would go with you myself, but I have a report I need to file to corporate. All right, we will go speak with the crew. Shahin, Nebri has instructed us to obtain historical gossip from you. <laughs> yeah, I could hear her from over here. What do you want to know? You must tell us everything about the State of Horizon when you join the company. 
Well, it was a long time ago. I was contracted by Horizon before the merger, mostly to conduct transport. And? Nothing too unusual. We would transport in equipment and load at the base and transport out product, usually six months since. I believe another contractor was handling the crew transport at that time, although I never crossed paths with them. So, did they operate within legal guidelines? Well, Horizon had a contract to mine most of the Ceres system, but they never dealt with official paperwork. Everything was off the books. It paid well, so we didn't ask questions. Interesting. Thank you, Shaheen. Thank you, Shaheen. You're very welcome. Have you spoken to Jess? It seems like she's upset with me for some reason. I mean, I don't even know what I could have done to upset her. I guess she did give me some traditional pastries her family sent her and I threw them out by accident. Would she get upset over that? I haven't worked here long enough to have any stories. Not many employees were here before the acquisition. Let's see what Chef has to say. Hello, Chef. Hello. I see you're still on board. Well, I'm up for a vacation soon, so I figured that would be well spent on Shaheen's ship. But if you wouldn't mind, I would love to get a chance to get back in the kitchen and whip up something good. I will consider the possibility of a future collaboration. I wonder what's going on in the junction. Why, hello, Chef. Have you spawned any of your alluring Vanguard culinary creations today? Well? Okay, enough small size talk. I am here for gossip. Oh. Who says I have gossip? Never has informed me that you are an old timer. You were hired to Horizon 15 years ago, around the time of the corporate acquisition. She believes that you may have information that could help us with the mystery grinder attacks. Interesting. Well, I suppose it couldn't hurt to share what I know. I was hired when the investment firm ExoYield purchased Horizon. I have worked on previous ExoYield projects before and was assigned to work as Horizon's very first chef. They didn't have a single chef before me. <laughs> could you imagine? I suppose that's because they didn't have many employees. There were only two human employees on Topaz when I was first stationed there. There were only two miners stationed on Topaz. Two employees. I suppose that they were transitioning their workers out after the acquisition, but it was an odd sight to see. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Here. Is this where you enjoy spending your breaks, Frank? Well, not exactly. Oh, I understand. It kind of smells like garbage in here, doesn't it? Yeah, a bit. Interesting. Well, I think it's time to explore the engine room. Pilot. Well, welcome back. Hans, tell us everything you know about the Horizon and Exoil merger immediately. Oh, well, uh, I mean, I was hired right around the time that Horizon was purchased by Exoil. 
continue. It was 15 years ago, but I still remember it clearly. From the get-go, you knew you were going into a rat's nest. I mean, this company was run like a hoarder's house. I was hired as a mechanical engineer to take inventory of equipment, make a note of repairs. Boy, I had my work cut out for me. Poorly serviced machinery, grinders all over the place, and drone bots. Drone bots everywhere. What do you mean? The previous company used a lot of drone bots, but it was as if they had no one to service them. They were in such disrepair. Interesting. Thank you, Hans. Hello there, pilot. I hear you've been busy. Hello, Diesel. Yes, we have been busy. We discovered that the enemy forces we have been fighting are drone bots. Oh my, drone bots, piloting grinders, that sounds so cool. I mean, darn those nasty drone bots for repeatedly attacking you, that's no, not nice. not nice at all. Horizon used to have a lot of drone bots, a lot. I was made from parts of some of them, sometimes I think I can hear their thoughts. Uh. They broke a lot of rules, didn't follow any union regulation whatsoever. Extremely not good, but they were designed that way. Why were they designed that way, Diesel? Don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Pilot, hello, hello. Diesel, did you need us to get you something? I'm very surprised. How did you know? You ask us for something whenever we speak. It's a basic algorithm at this point. Well, if you don't mind, I would love it if you could find me something. Of course. Please bring me cash. Excuse me. You know, cash. Currency. In the physical form, cold, hard. I'll see what I can do, Diesel. Jess. What do you need, Blue? Cash. Excuse me? We are requiring cash. Well, I can lend you some, but you have to pay me right back. It doesn't belong to me. It's everyone's pooled cash from the bet I took a while ago. What if I cannot pay you back? Then no cash. Interesting. What if we participated in an exchange? Are you trying to bribe me? It can be my birthday present. Blue, you're an AI. Yes. You don't have a birthday. This is discrimination. Jess, it's not for us. It's for Diesel. Oh, it's for Diesel? Diesel requires the cash. Well, in that case, okay. Okay. You don't have to pay me back. You can have one credit bit. Just one. That's good enough. Thank you, Jess. Yeah, yeah. You found it, physical credits. Well, we didn't find it exactly. This is perfect. It will go right into my grind. Yes. Coffee grinder, uh, Jess likes coffee, and I was going to try and make her some, and uh, need to smash beans to make beans into bean juice, uh. Thank you for the physical currency. Sorted gossip, Nebru. Sorted? Well, let's hear it then. Right. According to the Kuru, Horizon before the Exoil acquisition had a suspicious number of drone bots in operation, who were apparently not operating to Union Co. Horizon did not conduct any business with official paperwork. We also learned that there were very few human employees working on Topaz for a period of time, and no chefs. 
I believe we have proven your suspicions correct, Nebaru. What suspicions have been proven? After Horizon was purchased by ExoYield, ExoYield discovered undisclosed information in Horizon's records. Apparently, Horizon had been using drone bots to mine in the Ceres system 15 whole years after the Wera Act was implemented. These drone bot mining sites were outright abandoned after the company was acquired. Do you believe that these drone bots are related to the ones attacking us? Well, where else could they come from? I managed to obtain records of the original Horizon bases. Apparently, the largest and most active base was on Palladium. Palladium? I never knew we had a base on Palladium. I believe someone has taken over this base on Palladium and has used the abandoned drone bots at the base to attack Horizon mines in the Ceres system. That makes sense. And if they have access to a carrier, then they can easily transport grinders from planet to planet. But if this is all true, I have no idea what we should do next. Flying right out to Palladium does seem a bit foolhardy, doesn't it? Captain? Nebaru? Have we received commands from Horizon about our next move? Not yet. Why, do you have a suggestion, Hans? Yeah, I do. Now that we know our enemies are drone bots, we can equip ourselves to fight against them. But Bellium. Bellium? Interesting. Continue, Hans. The other day, Diesel got his hands on a bit of orange Bellium that I had in me things, and it knocked him out cold. If Diesel has this weakness towards orange Bellium, this means other drone bots will too. Now, I could engineer a weapon that uses orange bells. We could launch a real counterattack against these drone bots instead of just defending ourselves. And where do we get these orange bells? Oh, aren't they quite rare? In the Ceres system, the only place they can be found is on Osmium. If we want the good stuff, we go there. Well, that solves it then. We're heading for Osmio. Then, once we get our handy weapons, we will go straight to the source of the drone bots. Palladium. Captain, we need to get permission from corporate first. I'll get my shots out. Hans, good plan. We'll be sticking to it. Oh. Oh boy. It looks like we're shotting our way to Osmium. Hope you kids packed your mittens. Ah, Frenchy. So I take it you've heard our recent discovery. About the G-Wars? Yes, I have. Well, I know that tone of voice. You have a bone to pick with me, don't you? You know me too well. Why are you harboring a drone bot on board, Shaheen? It's unlike you. I thought you were more supportive of the Union than this. So you met Diesel? Diesel is the name. Look, I don't know why you have a drone bot on board, but it's, uh, unsettling. Diesel's unsettling? Did you ask him about his list of fears? It's very long. Shaheen, you are missing the point. You used to strictly enforce the Wera Act on board your ships, and I respected that. And now you have a drone bot on board. That could be a human worker in its place. An engineer's apprentice who needs to build skills and feed their family. I'm disappointed if I'm to be honest. <laughs> You've always seen things in black and white, Frenchie. And you've never taken those who disagree with you seriously. Diesel's purpose on board isn't to replace a human worker. But if you don't believe me, you can see for yourself. And if I'm not satisfied that Diesel doesn't break the way to act? 
<laughs> well, you can always turn me over to the authorities. Don't call my bluff, Shaheen. Oh, I would never do that, old friend. You like to rest now? Would you like to have a rest now, pilot? I expect we will have a busy day tomorrow. We're headed to Osmium. Make sure to wear your woolly socks. And with that, we were finally on our way to Osmium to get that orange bellium. We should speak with Nebru. Welcome to Osmium, everyone. I am happy to report that Corporate just gave us permission to land, so we will be disembarking shortly. What are we doing here exactly? Osmium is famous for its orange bellium deposits. Only place in the system that has them. Orange bellium has electronic suppressive properties. If they can disable diesel, they could do the same to the drone bots that have been attacking our bases. A supply of orange bellium could be the key we need to stopping these attacks for good. While osmium has a lot of visible bellium deposits scattered around, the most potent deposits are deep under the planet's surface. Unfortunately, we can't just drill into the ground with the grinders. They run too deep for that. So... We have brought in the best of our deep mining technology. The rig. Is uh, that where I come in? Ah, everyone, meet Captain Jacques. Hello, Horizon Security. Jacques will be commanding the rig as it excavates Orange Bellium. Once Bellium is extracted, a convoy will then transport it to a refining facility where it will be altered for use in your weapons. Your mission today is to ensure that the rig can mine, the convoy can transport, and the refinery can refine. Uh, you're making it sound like we're getting attacked or something. It's not without precedent. Security, you're dismissed. Begin your mission in the hangar. Let's go, pilot. We need to launch a counter-attack. Our enemy is an army of drone bots piloting grinders. This is something I accounted for when I ran my 426,230 simulations of potential adversaries. However, it didn't rank in the top 20. It ranked 64. Aliens ranked higher. Stay safe out there, pilot. Security mission is a complex one, so I'll be here to guide you through. Security, head to the rig. 
Wait, where's Frank? Frank has already proceeded down to the rig. Frank, I thought we were a team. Well, someone has to guard this gigantic sitting duck. We assigned all your positions on the ship. If everyone sticks to the plan, we will be able to mine and refine Orange Bellium to use against the Drombot army. Hello, Horizon Security! Hey, Captain Jacques. We're here to scale for Bellium deposits. Good to hear, good to hear. Search around the area marked on your radar. You see anything that looks like it could be part of an underground Bellium deposit? Use your radio to call in your location. Then, I'll bring the rig to you. I've marked an area on your map for you to start searching in. When you think you've found a deposit, use the radio to call in your location. <laughs> Looks like you found something. And very slowly to your location. Of course Frank volunteered to guard the rig. Look, I'm still mentally recovering after dodging mines in the asteroid field. Let me have the easy job for once. You didn't like the asteroid field, Frank? No. No, I did not. Uh, heads up, security. I have enemy combatants on radar heading for the rig. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, here we go. was unexpected. Are you kidding? I've been waiting for this. It was so boring, I was seriously considering rolling into the back for a nap. We're counting on you, security. Light them up. they decide to send another wave. Jess, can we just be optimistic for one day? I am being optimistic. Rig is now operating. Let's hope those drone bots just went home. Since when has that ever happened? I have incoming enemies. Could use some backup. Rookie, you go assist Frenchie. I'll cover the convoy.
nothing like a good old ambush. Gets the blood pumping. Brings me back to the days when you would have to fight off scavengers with mining equipment before they started outfitting grinders with real weapons. But real creative about the different ways to thank you, pilot. That was close. Rig's almost done mining here. Once the trucks are loaded with orange bellium, Jess will escort them to the refinery. Pilot, why don't you go find the next bellium vein while your team is handling the transport? Just check your map for potential deposit spots. Security, our electronics are going haywire from the orange belly. Convoy is requesting a stop to recalibrate. What? No, you can't stop. There are enemy grinders all over the place. We're gonna get ambushed. It will only be a few minutes. This deposit looks good. We're on our way. We're under fire. Jess? Jess, are you all right? Got grinders here. I'm pinned down. Frenchie's helping me out, but we could really use another hand right now. I need to guard the rig. Pilot, go help Jess. Boy, am I glad to see you. I was able to clear out the first rush of grinders, but they still managed to get the trucks. Help us out with the next wave, okay? Okay. I'm fine. Unfortunately, the ambush destroyed the convoy and its transport. We lost the orange bellium, too. Ugh, I knew this would happen. Don't worry, we'll secure the next transport. I'm heading back to guard the refinery. I'm going to the rig and guarding the next set of trucks. Rookie, you're coming with me. Hopefully, we'll have more success this time. trucks are still loading bellium, so we have to wait a bit. In the meantime, we noticed that there was an empty dredge in the field. It may give you an upper hand out there. If you want to switch grinders, head over to the dredge. If you prefer to stay in your hopper, go wait with Jess until we're ready to leave. Thank you. 
push to switch grinders. Transfer grinders now. Trucks are loaded. Let's hope this shipment fares better. Nobody is allowed to stop this time. Pilot, you and Jess escort the trucks to the refinery. Frank, continue to supervise the rig. Roger that. Uh, hey there, security. Watch my back, will you? Don't want to end up like those other poor sods. I've only got three months left on my ten-year contract. Let's go, team. Wait a minute. Did you hear something? Uh-oh. Did the trucks just crash through the ice? Damn it, we need backup. Nebaru, come in, Nebaru. I think we've lost reception. This planet is really messing with our electronics. Okay, we need a plan B. We have no more deposits nearby, and we've lost most of our bellium. What's our next reasonable decision? Hmm. Uh, we mine the bellium deposits across the lake. Captain Jacques, that is not a reasonable decision. We just lost our convoy trucks to the lake. There is no way we can walk the rig across it when it weighs more than all our grinders put together. And we'll find the way. Let's go, Horizon Security. Oh, wow. He's really going to walk across the lake. Oh, you can't be serious. Captain Jacques, wait. Wait. Please. Look here, kid. I've been hearing about these GUO attacks for weeks now. If you security guys need Orange Belly to stop them, then we're gonna go get you Orange Belly to stop them. If you want to help defend the ring from the GUO, and be my guest, then we're going to let you like it. I like this guy. Oh, that looks good to kill me. Looks like we're escorting the ring across the lake. Let's do our best to keep it safe. Drone bots incoming. Defend the rig pilot.
kill me. Looks like we're escorting the rig across the lake. Let's do our best to keep it safe. Drone bots incoming. Defend the rig pilot. Looks like they brought the hammers with them. Shut those down for me, security. This is our last shot. Keep the rig safe, security. Frank, Jess, security, do you copy? I have a visual on the security team, Nabib. Coming in for backup. Hearing you loud and clear. Our radios were offline earlier. Ours as well. We had a bit of an issue tracking you. How are things going with the rig? <laughs> Funny you should ask. Why are you guys taking the rig across the lake? You're taking the rig across the lake? I knew you wouldn't like this idea. You're right, I don't. But I suppose there isn't much we can do about it now. According to the radar, we have enemy forces coming from the east. Security, protect the rig. We should be in the clear. Take them down.
Well, that's a relief. We're barely holding our own out here. Let's regroup. We still need to keep an eye on the rig. Roger. Heading to your location. Well, did we do it? It looks like it. Those drone bots are real tenacious, aren't they? That's an understatement. Wait. What's that? Are those all hammers? No, Jock. Hey! Well, that's bad. Jock! Captain Jock, are you okay? What's going on there, security? We have no more enemies on radar, but we're no longer getting a reading on the rig either. The rig just took an airstrike. It's seriously damaged. I think they might need evacuation. An airstrike? Okay, okay, I'll relay the message to base. Captain Shaheen is bringing the dropship out to you, security. Remain in your position. I'm starting to miss the turbids already. vomit from stress. I see. Do you practice rhythmic breathing? Inhaling through the nose, out through the mouth? Really does one? Was that making you feel relaxed and centered? Me. Usually I just mute my radio and scream for a full minute. Well, I'm sure that works too. See you on board, security. Emergency meeting in the command room. Hello. Captain, do you copy? Hello, Captain Jacques. This is Nebro on board the Competence. What is your status? Hello. Uh, fine day, isn't it? You could say so. Anyway, the rig's dead in the water. We have about 50 crew members on board who need evacuation. We've already called Transport Base Sandin, and they're sending out two overhauls and evacuation trucks. Unfortunately, it's going to take three hours to arrive. Oh, three hours? Hey, no rush. Captain! We're dying! Hey, hey, ignore these whiners. We'll be able to hold down on our own here. We've lasted this long with an active hornet infestation in the heating system. Few critical injuries, <laughs> there's nothing. Oh, wait, is that an exposed femur I see? Captain Jock? Hello? Seriously, three hours for the overhauls? Is there anything we can do to help? We're kind of stuck here too. The crew sounds like they could use some medical attention. We could help. But we'll need a lot of things if we're going to help the crew without succumbing to sub-zero temperatures, gale force winds, and a poisonous atmosphere. We're going to need environmental suits, oxygen, along with emergency first aid kits. We are legally required to have all of those on board. Just Frank, you're going to find the first aid kits in the crew quarter storage cabinet. Roger. Frenchy. You're in charge of the supplementary oxygen tanks. They should be in the mess hall. Aye, Cappy. And Pilot, your job will be to find five environmental suits. All right, security. Let's help out the rig crew.
We have obtained an environmental zoo. We have obtained an environmental zoo. You are looking for environmental suits. Try the lower level of the engine room. We have found an environmental zoo. Uh, Jess, you're blocking the light. I cannot see. We found one environmental zoo. Oxygen tanks. Where could those be? I'm assuming something has happened to facilitate Frenchie scampering through the cupboards. You heard that the rig was bombarded, right? Oh, that makes sense. Did you skip the debriefing? Of course I did. I was busy. You were busy? I was in the middle of creating my crook ambush. Found the suit. Looks like you found the suits. Let's examine them, shall we? Talk to the captain. So, are we ready to go out there and help the Rick crew? Well, it depends if you would like for us to survive the trip or not. What does that mean? We do have our legally required emergency supplies on board, right? Should I go first? I'll go first. We found one emergency kit. At first we didn't think that there were any emergency kits, but then Jess ended up opening the board game boxes and we found a fully stocked kit inside. A single first aid kit? I was unable to find a single oxygen tank. They apparently haven't been kept on board in some time. Well, the environmental suits should have a small supply of oxygen, right? Pilot, did you get the environmental suits? We did. Here you go. Oh, wonderful. Wait. Hmm. Looks like they're full of holes. They've been eaten by bugs. Were those the darn blood mites? <laughs> Annoying things. So, we have one first aid kit and no way to get it to the rig crew. What are we going to do now? Pilot, could I talk to you for a moment in private? Can we chat? Just tap your watch. Pilot, do you remember when we first met Chef? He said that his meals were prepared using locally sourced ingredients. If Chef has been harvesting substances from the planet's surface, that must mean he has his own environmental suit. Let's go to the mess hall now. Visualized with distractions. Uh, shoot. Chef, we know that you have a way of going outside. You collect specimens to eat from your local environment. Maybe so. Chef, do you have an environmental suit? I do. But it's for chef uses only. 
What determines chef uses only. Is there a nutritious ingredient that can be found? If not, then no environmental suit. It's an emergency. I am sorry to hear that. But I have a responsibility to keep everyone on board the competence fed and alive. I cannot jeopardize this for any reason. What if I told you that the rig has a rare hornet infestation? A hornet infestation, you say? Are they... fresh? Why don't you come to the command room, Chef? I am coming. Yes, a hero. Fancy seeing you here. Chef has volunteered to bring the first aid supplies to the rig crew. I was informed of the presence of fresh ingredients on board the rig. They mentioned they had a bit of a hornet infestation, but... Aha, uh -huh, I see. Well... I'll make my way over. I have my own personal environmental suit for these purposes. For rescue missions? <laughs> no. For ingredient procurement. I needed to create nutritious meals for the security crew. Well, whatever works. Could you bring the first aid kit to the rig crew when you go? Thank you. Chef just left. Do you think he'll be okay? I would be more concerned about the rig crew than him, to be honest. Chef's technically not allowed outside in the terms of his job description, so that's another report I will have to falsify. Yasuhiro, do you come in? I'm here, Captain. Just making my way to the rig entrance. Suit is operating normally. I have brought a vacuum and sealed containers to collect the hornets. And the first aid kit, right? Oh, yes. Good, good. Do you see the hatch? Can you get on board? Uh, I, I think I see it. Ah, yes. There we go. Boarding now. Right. I'll radio Captain Job and inform him of your arrival. Hello, Captain Jock? Our helper has arrived with a first aid kit. <laughs> Look, I told you we're fine. You got nothing to worry about. We cannot staunch the flow of blood, Captain! He should be coming through your emergency hatch now. Please do not be alarmed. What's this? Are we being attacked? Wait, no, that's... Hello. I am Chef Yasuhiro Kita. I was promised fresh ingredients in exchange for bringing your crew this first aid kit. Oh, um, uh, thank you. Now, where are your hornets? I am here to harvest them. Chef? Come in, Chef. Well, let's just assume everything's going according to plan. The rig crew should be able to hang in there with the first aid kits while we wait for the overhauls to arrive. There's not much more that we can do for them. Well, I think that's our cue to relax until help arrives. Yeah, let's hope nothing else crops up. It's good that the rig has Chef on board. I mean, he can probably calm them down. Or at least redirect their source of fear. Thank you, Chef, for saving the security team from having to wear bug-eaten environmental suits. So I guess Chef is staying on board the rig until the overhauls arrive. Well, glad that's not me out there. Chef Yasuhiro is really doing something quite courageous, even if he may not see it as such. Pilot, 
making sure you are absolutely exhausted right now. Would you like to take a nap while we wait for the evacuation equipment to arrive? Ah, a crisis! Well, let's see how we fared with evacuating the rig, shall we? Well, you got a power and weapon, at least. We're ready now. This mission is a bit unusual compared to what we're used to, so I need everyone to pay close attention. <gasps> we're listening. Good. We're using convoy trucks and two overhauls to conduct the rig evacuation. The plan is to fly trucks filled with evacuees to transport base Bruma. Pilot, you and Frenchie will be our overhaul pilots today. Well, that's a relief. Jess and Frank, you will be defending the remaining crew on the rig while the overhauls conduct the evacuation. Wonderful. Is Chef still on board the rig? He is. So let's make sure this plan goes off without a hitch. Good luck out there, security team. Let's save the rig crew. We used to use overhauls back on Topaz. They require skill to use. Something that your average Horizon miner doesn't have much of. We are ready to begin evacuation. How is the crew holding up? Hell, most of my crew, including your chef, is loaded onto the convoy trucks. It's impossible to drive on the lake, but I assume that's what your handy overhauls are for. Sure is. We will airlift the convoy trucks to base Bruma. It may be a bit of a bumpy ride, but it's the fastest way to evacuate the rig. Perfect. Then I'm gonna leave it to you, security. I'll be waiting with the rig till you get back. Before we start the evacuation, let me teach you a bit about the overhaul. The overhaul has a special hummingbird drive, which allows you to hover in the air without using fuel for an unlimited amount of time. You can use the hummingbird drive strategically as well. Gives you a bit of a speed boost if you activate your drive and jump jet simultaneously. Picking up the convoy trucks in the overhaul is easy. You just need to hover over them and they should attach automatically. Let's start you off by activating your hummingbird drive. Your jets will be enabled once you show me you can use the Hummingbird Drive. Well done. Your grinder's remaining functions should be enabled. Now go pick up that truck. Security team, this is Chef Yasuhiro Kita, on board Convoy Truck 1. Please fly steadily. I am transporting two full containers of necrotizing murder hornets. Our pilot friend is carrying your truck, Chef Yasuhiro. I'm sure they'll fly as steadily as they can. I see. For the sake of everyone in this convoy truck, I sincerely hope they do. Well, that's slightly ominous. Do you see that abandoned convoy truck over there? You should go grab it. It's likely filled with orange bellium that we could use. I'll wait here for you. The 
position of the second convoy truck is on your radar. Check your radar to find... You're really getting the hang of it! Well, come back on over to me, and then we'll begin the evacuation. Security team 2, we're heading out. Roger. Jess and I will keep an eye on the rig while you go. Good luck out there. Don't drop any convoy trucks. Let's make our way to base Bruma. Chef, how are things going in the convoy truck? Please keep steady. I have two full containers of live, necrotizing murder hornets in here, and they are angry. Well, I'm sure our pilot friend will keep things stable for you. It looks like we have some geysers here. Why don't we take them for a spin? The boost of momentum is really quite far. Look at you go. It's fun, isn't it? will stop your momentum when traveling at high speeds. Press B to activate the air brake. Oh dear. It looks like our route has been blocked by this ice collapse. Uh, we're going to have to take a detour. Pilot, your flying has caused my harvesting containers to crack. The necrotizing murder hornets are on the verge of escaping. We should probably hurry. Grinders up ahead. There is some cover on the left side of the canyon. Let's use it to slip past these drone boats as fast as we can. Our skyjackers and missiles won't have enough firepower to take them down, especially at this station. Don't engage them. I see cover up ahead. We should be safe there. Pilot, your erratic flying is destroying the containers. Ah, uh, the bugs! They're getting free! It looks like we are out of their range, but we should put as much distance between ourselves and those drone boxes as possible. Now, how are things going with the convoy truck? There's so many of them! They're everywhere! Remain calm. Necrotizing murder hornets can sense fear. We should hurry. Grinders incoming. Well, it looks like these tin cans aren't going to leave without a fight. Let's take them down with our skyjackers.
excited back there. Uh, brought me back to my years fighting violence. It's been a while since I took on something that wasn't an oversized worm. Anyway, follow me. After dealing with Turbids, I thought I had seen it all. I thought that working with Horizon was going to be boring. Ha! Then we get attacked by armies of grinders with drone bots in them. Whoever's organized this drone bot army sure put in the effort. I'm picking up grinders on the radar. Brace yourself for a fight. We just need to push through to get to the base. And don't be afraid to use the Skyjack on anyone flying at us with ill intent. Boy truck one doing? Hanging in there? Chef, yes, a hero. Well, I'm sure they're fine. You're getting the hang of the overhaul, aren't you? That's some impressive speed. and drop her by evacuees before we get attacked again. Hey, we're getting some hostiles approaching the rig. Shouldn't be too much for Frank and I to handle, but hurry back when you can, okay? Captain Jacques' convoy truck still needs evacuating. Yeah, we should be able to keep them at bay for now. And if you're unable to keep them at bay, I have a special surprise waiting for them. I don't like the sound of that. Let's head through this cave. The base should be on just the other side. Initiate attack protocols. Attack, attack. Pilot, these red geysers are dangerous. They just obliterated that enemy grinder. Do you see this underpass? We can take it to avoid the geysers. Follow me. the base. Chef Yasuhiro, how are we holding out? Oh. Yes, Bruma. This is security team one with the evacuated members of the ring crew. Medical personnel, you are clear to receive the patients. Just uh, keep in mind that there may be some dangerous insects loose. Head over to the base and shut down your grinder to drop off the convoy trucks. The techs will then do some repairs and outfit you with a hammer. Oh, we're alive! Oh. Security, we have successfully evacuated with some minor injuries. Over oh, here. How are things going at the rig track? Honestly, things are getting a bit dicey. Some backup would be appreciated. Roger that. Violet, you head back to the rig and get the final truck full of evacuees. Me too there. I have discovered a shortcut back to the rig through the upper cliff. 
Jeeps. That should take you right to Frank and Jess's location. Torso's critical. I don't know how much longer we can hold them up. Come on, Frank. We're not going to be taken down by a couple of drone bots. Hang in there. We need to hurry. Hey, where is the index in this operator manual? It's a self-cleaning soap. Of carbonizing self destruct Captain John, it's time to evacuate. We are going to pick up your convoy truck and leave. Hey, 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 give me one minute, all right? And then I'll be ready to go. Just to, to defend the ring for a bit, if you don't mind. I suppose we don't have a choice. Check the ring, pilot. Destroy the insurgents. Don't leave me out of the fun. Now let's get these guys. Attaching this last wire. Captain, we must move now. Make your way to the waiting truck immediately. And we are all ready to sell this truck. <laughs> okay, security pilot, let's book it. Self destruct. You are blowing up the rig. Mm -hmm, you sure bet I am. Need to get a blast radius. Pilot, take the captain and move quick. We got about. 60 seconds until we're obliterated, so no rush. Pilot, fly away from the rig as fast as you can. I have marked the safe area outside the blast radius on your radar. Just yet. You need to make it back to the base. I lie. Why don't we spice this up? Let's have a race. Race. A race. See you back at Bruma. There he goes. We should use the visors to keep up with him. They appear very dangerous. Channel your inner speed demon and make Frenchy. You need the serotonin boost desperately. Number one yet. I am practicing my 
Bridge here. For number one. Well, congratulations. I haven't had so much to eat for in quite some time. Anyway, drop Jack off and then head on over to the hangar. That's the door to you all in taking down those GUO security. I hope you think of Horizon's Osmium Rig Team when you're out there. race on the way back to the base. My friend here gave me quite the run for my money. A race? Well, it's good to see you survived. Doesn't a bear know about what happened to the rig yet? Yeah, but don't worry. I think she's dealing with bigger things right now. Bigger things? You'll see. on your victory. Now we should head to the command room. I told you we had no choice. You want us to come back to Topaz? Now? Because Topaz is under attack? Sahim, what's going on? She called Horizon to inform them of our plans to go to Palladium and stop the Dronebot army. Unfortunately, it sounds like Corporat has other ideas. The security team has been attacked at every Horizon base in the Sarah system from these GUOs. We have a chance at stopping them once and for all. Of course I care about the crews on Topaz, but it will take us two weeks to get back. We are so close to stopping them for good. What do you mean you forbid us to go to Palladium? Classified information? We're corporate employees. Well, we're going anyways. This is the best shot we have, and we're not going to compromise it now. Thank you. Whoa, did you just commit mutiny? Looks like it. Ah, it wouldn't be the first time that's happened to them. They deserved it too, corporate pencil pushers. What did I do? I'm going to get everyone fired or blacklisted. You made a decision on our behalf. And it was a good one. Damn, Nebru. I didn't know you had it in you. I think I need to go lie down for a bit. Go ahead. I'll handle the crew from here. So, we are setting course for Palladium. Should take a while before we arrive, but we have plenty of time to kill. I propose that we do something fun. Board game night? Or a party? Frenchy, you read my mind. I think we need to shed some tension. It's time for everyone to let themselves go and dance to some funky music. I will be assigning roles to each of you, to make sure that this party goes off without a hitch. Frank, you're on lights. 
and I expect to see a disco ball. Jess is on decorations. Frenchy, you're on food. We will reconvene at 1800 hours for the party of a lifetime. If I could, I would like to speak to the pilot in blue after this. Everyone else, you are dismissed. Just who I wanted to speak with. I have assigned everyone a task for the party except you. I would like it if you went to each member of the crew and helped them complete their task. I believe this would interfere with our physical and mental relaxation period. Sounds great. I look forward to the grand celebration later today. Well, this blows. I don't understand the meaning of your statement. What is your assignment? Decorations, which is a real winner. I don't have any ideas, really. We will attempt to assist you, Jess. Thanks. I think I'll need all the help I can get. Can't find anything, huh? There might be something in the mess hall. I always seem to find weird supplies in there. You have picked up wax paper. You have paper? Cool, I can use it to make party decorations. I can't think of a better way to spend my downtime, weaving wax paper into chains. My job is to prepare the lights. Shaheen also made it very clear that he wanted a... disco ball. Disco ball. I don't know what that is. Is it, is it an old person thing? Anyway, I'm not going to bother. I'll just stand next to the lights and flick them on and off all night. It's better than dancing, at least. I suppose we could try to make a disco ball. Could you? I don't even know where to start. Let me guess. You haven't found a disco ball. We are looking. I'm not feeling optimistic. You have a pile of broken glass. You brought me... broken glass? If you suspend it from the ceiling, the glass shards should reflect light in a way that is similar to a disco ball. Oh, that works then. I'll bring these shards of broken glass right to the party. I have my broken glass. Consider me party ready. Since Chef is going to be busy with the cake, I thought I would help him prepare the party food. Do you have cooking experience? Of course. My specialty is French food. I will be preparing a full course French meal for everyone on board. Well, as French as I can make it. What kind of dishes will you be making? Classic French food. So, tahine, latkes, haggis, and for the main course, sushi with some modifications. Do you need anything? I think I will need strawberry jam for the sushi. Right on it. I wonder if anyone else needs help. HMM, I wonder if there was something around here that would be useful. We have a jar of jam. Brought the jam! Wonderful. Now I can finish my sushi. Thank you, pilot. Oh, 
Hello, pilot. Today I won't be able to serve you my special. Oh, what a shame. Because I have been granted the responsibility of providing the cake for the party. Cakes are traditionally devoid of nutrition, which is why I have decided to create my cake from my homemade blend of protein flour. Do you need help finding anything? I wish to garnish my cake with the final ingredient. Flames. Fire. Candles, please. Right. These are candles. Thank you for bringing me the candles. They were right there. Someday, I will find a way to repay you for your effort. You could have obtained them if you reached your arm out. Until that day comes, I am in your debt. What if the party is scary? I don't know if I should go. Diesel, it's just the crew going. Why would it be scary? I don't know. Pilot, I heard there is going to be a party. A party outside of the engine room. That is the plan, yes. Will there be a lot of strangers coming? Will it be noisy? Are there grinders there? No strangers, and hopefully no grinders. Will you be coming, Diesel? I don't know, leaving the comfy cozy confines of the engine room is scary. Who knows what dangers lurk out there? What dangers? I don't know, dangers. Anyway, I was hoping you could get something from me. I require an extremely spherical thing for my project. Hey, what? Something round, very round, as round as possible. We will see what we can do, Diesel. This is a stress ball. Let's take it. Is this it? I guess. Wow, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you, pilot. This squishy thing is amazingly spherical. Well, it's what you requested. Are you going to tell us some nutty conspiracy theory now, Diesel? I don't feel like it. We're supposed to go to a party tonight. I don't leave the engine room very often. I'm a bit scared. Diesel, didn't you help repair the ship tanks when we ran into a mine? Yes, I did. You were in space. Yes, I was. Is the party with our crew members significantly less scary than repairing a fuel tank in space? Possibly. I'll consider it. Hello, pilot. Did the captain send you here? He requested that we help everyone who had been assigned a task for the party. I believe he expects failure. What a guy. <laughs> he assigned me to music. Well, the engines running at a certain decibel does produce a rhythmic industrial sound, but I don't think that's what the captain had in mind. You think you could help me track down a music player? I'm sure we could find something for you. Uh, why don't you try asking Jess? She's always listening to music. Don't mind me. Just mentally preparing myself for arts and crafts time. Jess, we were told that you had a music player that we could use for the party. Oh yeah. I lent it to Frank. He was having trouble sleeping with the ship engines on. You can borrow it from him if you want. I have my broken glass. Consider me party ready. Frank, we were told that you had Jess's music player. Uh, yeah. She lent it to me. 
Guess I should give it back. Hans was wondering if he could borrow it for the party. If Jess is okay with it, then sure. What type of music is on the disc? Uh, I think it's dance music. We'll take it. This is a music player. It belongs to Jess. Fantastic. Oh, well, we'll have proper party music now. Thank you, pilot. I'll take it from here. everyone prepare for the party. We did. Good. We should all be here soon. We have food, drinks, cake, we have party music, and uh, this pile of broken glass. It's a disco ball. A disco ball. Fantastic. And what do we have for music? I have a fancy music player with dance music. And the food. We have a cake baked to perfection and garnished with flames. And classic French sushi. I have to say well done everyone for making this happen. Now, all we need is our special guest. Pilot, can you go get Nebiru from the crew quarters? Make sure not to tell her what we're doing. It's a surprise. All right, everyone. We have 30 seconds. Hello, Nebru. I just woke up. What is it, pilot? The captain has requested you. I'm taking my first break in four days. Can it wait? No, there is an urgent transmission from Horizon waiting for you. Oh no. Okay, okay. I'm coming. so we could all relax after losing the billion cred bit rig in a catastrophic explosion. Oh, and also committing mutiny against Horizon Corporate. Why is there a ball of broken glass hanging from the ceiling? It's decoration. Now let's party. Well, this is not what I expected. This isn't scary. This isn't scary at all. <laughs> I'm happy Diesel worked up the courage to come. He's such a funny guy sometimes. Ah, company parties. This is where the blackmail is formed, isn't it? Where are the drinks? One of you has contraband. Never is finally letting loose. About time. I need some fresh air.
Hey! Whenever you're ready to crash, pilot is fine by me. didn't manage to get much orange bellium, but we were off to palladium anyway. Speak to the captain immediately. There you are! Hello, pilot. Guess what happened this time? Did you run into another space mine? Close, but not quite. We were shot at by a defense cannon stationed at the old Horizon hangar on Palladium. A working Horizon cannon? Hasn't this base been abandoned for over 30 years? It has. Looks like someone has really taken over the old Palladium base after all. I was forced to land some 10 kilometers away from the hangar. Do we still have flight capability? Oh, we can fly, but the defense cannon could easily pick us out of the sky if we stick our heads up. We were banking on accessing the hangar, but if some hostile force is controlling the hangar, things could get dicey. Sounds about right. Where could we get ourselves a grinder without hangar access? May we excuse ourselves? Is there somewhere you need to be, Blue? The pilot and I need to make a visit to the engine room. We should go find Hazel. We must go to the engine room. Diesel, your grinder. We need to use it. Grinder, I do not know what you are talking about. Your special secret project is a grinder. We know you have been building a tiny grinder. I do not know what you are talking about, Blue. You are making a grinder, Diesel. Do not lie to me. Lying is bad. Oh, you're right, but Hans said I could be in trouble if I told anyone I was making a grinder. Drone bots aren't supposed to pilot grinders, it's bad for the economy. Diesel, this is an emergency. Yes. We need to disable several defense cannons that are aimed at us, but we cannot approach Palladium's hangar in the dropship. We need your grinder. Are you asking if I can help? I can help. Good. Let's go back to the command room, and inform the crew. Okie dokie. Diesel has been building a grinder, and he is allowing us to use it to get to the hangar. I'm sorry I was building a grinder this whole time. It's against the rules, but, but... Wait, Diesel has a grinder? Diesel, you might have just saved our skins. My scout is very small and doesn't have a lot of firepower, but it can get us to the hangar. I designed it to be nimble, but since this is its first time being flown, I think that I should go with the pilot just to help in case anything goes wrong. Hmm. Does it have a weapon? No, nope. my scout is friendly. That could be a problem. I think I have a solution for this. As you're all aware, I've been working on the Orange Bellium weapon since we left Osmium. I needed to be sure it was ready to go by the time we landed, so I was using the Scout to test it out. That's why you told me not to touch it. You equipped it with the Zapper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Zapper! 
Uh, it's not much of a weapon, but it can disable enemy electronics. Better than nothing, I'd say. Right. Pilot, Diesel, you two head to your cockpit in the lower hallway, and we'll get Diesel Scout ready to launch. Hans, I think it might be a good idea for you to go along for supervision. Yeah, that would be safe. Yay, let's go. After you, pilot. Head to the hallway to start your mission. I'm ready. We're going on a mission in my homemade grinder. Ready when you are. Be docking with Diesel's grinder shortly. I'm so excited. You get to see my scout in action. I've made a lot of last minute adjustments, so I hope this cockpit is compatible. Are you sure this is gonna be safe, Diesel? Don't worry, I made it with the best parts possible. Here it comes. It works perfectly. No sparks or anything. Everyone there? Okay, good. Based on old records, it appears as if there is an underground route that you can take that will bring you to the hangar. Head straight until you find a cave. Or a tunnel or something. You heard her. Head straight. Drone 343735. I experienced a fault in my self direction and am heading back to base immediately to get examined by maintenance. My uh, receiver processor unit, because it's damaged, I may have difficulty appearing on the radar system. The access is granted. Report to your maintenance station immediately upon reaching the hangar. Please proceed with caution. Skinny danger thing. Hmm. Looks like there's an electrical box powering the fan. Maybe you could try shooting. Right. Oh, 
more spinning blades, huh? That pipe looks broken. It's blowing air at the ceiling. That could come in handy. Well, I'll be. That worked. We. That was fun. Congratulations on surviving another near-death experience, everyone. Two-step verification process. This door has been barred with a skill testing question that only a Horizon robot could answer. Hmm. Might be stuck. Does anyone here know binary? Pick the first one. You know we're supposed to lie, right, Diesel? Yep, I know. Pick the first one. Well. It's up to you. Yay, we picked the right one. Let's get moving. Looks like this way is blocked. Let's try looking around. Oh, I think I saw another path back the way we came. danger thing. There must be a way to turn this contraption off. Hopefully, that's the last of the strangely dramatic traps for a while. I detect a lot of sky. We are reaching the end of the tunnel. Is just past the door up ahead. The doors are closed. There is no record of drone bot hash 34, 37, 35 in operation. Drone bot, what is your purpose? On my authority as the acting foreman, I demand that you answer immediately. Oh no, what do I say? But my purpose is to make friends with everyone, and to build a really cool grinder. Error, error. Corrupted drone bot detected. Further access to Gauntlet Channel has been barred on the authority of I, Red, and Informant of Horizon's Palladium Base. The cleanup crew will arrive to dispose of all corrupted drone bots shortly. Answers a lot of my questions. Is that scary AI named Red running this old Horizon base? It looks like it. Sir, so, uh, how do we get past this door? Why don't we look around to see if there is another route?
that door over there is where we need to get that was good. Let's get back up to the main path and check on that fan. What's your status? We made it to the hangar. I'll get to disabling the defenses. Then the competence should be able to dock. Good to hear. There is one slight pickup we ran into on the way. Hiccup? It's the AI, named Red. I believe it's running the station. It sounds like it's organizing an attack on Topaz. I see. We'll need to hurry then. I'll get to disabling the cannons. Diesel, you go back on board the ship with the pilot. Oh, okay. Hey there. We're in the hangar somehow. I'm gonna work on getting the old grinders in here operational. to the command room. There, 
is our pilot. Come on over, let's chat. Pilot, we're in the hangar thanks to you, Diesel and Hans. Good work on surviving the crazy AI. What is the AI's name? Red? Sounds familiar, doesn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. It looks like this AI was left to manage the Horizon Station on Palladium, even after the station closed. Red simply kept it operational for 30 years. So much for the Wera Act. Yeah, it seems like Red has been breaking regulations for a long time. No wonder Horizon didn't want us coming here. Well, Hans is going to take a while installing the modified weapons onto the grinders. So, why don't you relax? I'm sure we're in for a tough fight out there. So it would be good to keep your energy up. You've gotten better at battle strategy compared to when you first started, Nebero. Well, I was hired as an operations manager for the team. Can't say military strategy was in the prerequisites. Nothing like learning on the job. I wonder how Diesel is doing. What are you doing, Diesel? Oh, hello, pilot. Hans wanted me to stay in the ship while he fitted the orange belly and weapons onto the grinders. I think he didn't want me having another accident. Sounds sensible of him. I couldn't help but overhear in the debriefing that there is going to be some trouble breaking into the radar stations. Diesel, what level are your auditory sensor set to exactly? I know that the security team is very good at solving problems, but I was thinking that I might be able to help. You want to pilot your grinder, don't you? Yes. You are incredibly simple-minded, Diesel. I know I shouldn't pilot my grinder. It goes against the Worker Automaton Regulatory Act of 21. Piloting grinders is best left to humans. You say that, but you still want to pilot your grinder, don't you? It is very small. I could do a good job at piloting it. We'll ask around to see what the crew thinks, Diesel. Oh, thank you so much. Frank, could you please answer a survey question for us? What's this about? Do you think Diesel should be able to pilot a grinder? Uh, doesn't that go against... many laws? Yes. Every law? A lot of laws. Look, those laws were put in place to make sure that colonists can find employment opportunities that aren't piracy. But there isn't an employment center nearby, and this is kind of an emergency. Honestly, I think we could use all the help we can get, human or not. Jess, we have a question for you. Hmm? What's up? We were wondering how you felt about Diesel piloting the Scout in the final push. Diesel? In a grinder? Yes. I don't have a problem with it. Holding Diesel responsible for things he had no part in is wrong, in my opinion. Look, Rookie, I came from a big family. Grew up in the colonies right in the middle of the economic fiasco. There were no jobs, and all my older brothers became criminals and pirates. Does that mean that I shouldn't be trusted? I trust you, Jess. Oh, thank you. I don't think anyone is destined for corruption. Diesel deserves a chance, just like any of us. 
sorry. I didn't mean to get all sentimental on you. Just ignore what I said about my family, okay? Question for me. I do have a question for you, Captain. How do you feel about Diesel piloting his scout grinder? How do I feel about it? Well, it's complex. Speaking as your captain, I understand why some of our crewmates would have reservations about Diesel. There has been plenty of violence in the struggle to regain a universe where ordinary people can thrive. Poverty, bloodshed, the works. I'm sure every member of our crew has been affected by it in some way. Of course, I don't hold these responsible for what happened in the past. But I think it's worth taking a moment to remember why a drone bot piloting a grinder would cause some of our crewmates pause in the first place. As the captain, I don't want to brush aside the concerns of others on board. So, are you okay with Diesel piloting the grinder? Me personally? Of course I am. I just hope he enjoys himself up there. Nebru, may we speak to you for a moment? What is it, Blue? Diesel wants to know if he can pilot a grinder into the final battle against the AI and the drone bots. I would like to personally recommend that Diesel is allowed to help. He understands his scout more than the pilot or myself. He would be an enormous asset in the upcoming mission. Pilot, I personally oversee and enforce corporate rules on board this ship. I'm not a member of your union. Horizon's pushing the boundary on automation in their employment every day. Their bottom line would greatly benefit from it. I'm informing you of this because I do not want you to think I have ulterior motives allowing Diesel to pilot the grinder. So you're okay with Diesel piloting the scout? To put it simply, yes, I am okay with it. I think we have bigger things to worry about right now than implementing the Wera Act. Frenchie, may we ask you a survey question? Oh, go ahead. Frenchie, would you approve of Diesel piloting his grinder to help out the security team on the final mission? Oh, well, that's quite a question. I admit I was uncomfortable being on the same ship as a drone bot at first. There are implications to working alongside drone bots, even more implications regarding drone bots piloting grinders. It's associated with shady business practices and worker rights violations. It's not something that I believe needs deregulation in any form. But I've seen enough of Diesel by now to tell that he's not your typical drone bot. There is clearly more going on with him than I originally thought. And right now, stuck on this remote planet, surrounded by hostile forces, I think we will need all the help we can get. Thank you, Frenchie. Besides, I like Diesel. What else can I say? He's uh, the most laid-back drone bot I've seen. Hello, Chef. Hello, Blue. Can we ask you a question? What is it? Diesel wants to pilot the grinder he built into our next battle. Do you approve? Diesel built that machine? Hmm. I don't find it easy to trust AI pilot. It's difficult to judge the intention of something created to mimic humans. 
That being said, it feels unreasonably cruel to deny a creator the chance to experience their own creation. On that note, I will support Diesel's endeavor. Just this once, though. Oh, thank you, Chef. Diesel, we have finished consulting with the crew. And, and, what did they say? The crew believed it was fair to judge your intentions without prejudice and let you pilot the grinder. Oh my, I did not calculate this probable outcome, I should tell Hans. Hans, did you hear that? I'm going to pilot my grinder. What's that, Diesel? Your grinder? Yep, everyone said they were okay with it, so I'm going out there with everyone. Well, be careful out there, yeah? I'll talk over the details with Maverick, so she knows to include you in the mission plan. Okay, I can't wait. Hans says I should always thank people who helped me, and you've helped me so 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 much, so thank you. You are welcome, Diesel. I'm so excited, I can't wait to show you all the cool things my grinder can do. Join us! Hey, sit down. We're having a toast before the next mission. Well, now you're making it sound formal. Isn't it kind of formal? Not unless you plan on dying out there. We've done a lot that's worth celebrating, haven't we? I guess. I need to reach past the recent memory of the rig blowing up to remember we actually had some successful missions. Of course we did. I've only been with Horizon for a short time, but the Horizon Security Unit is one of the most solid teams I've had the pleasure of being a part of. Aw, thanks, Frenchie. It's been a pleasure working with you two. So, let's do our very best out there. Let's help out all our friends who need us on Topaz. Let's take down these drone bots so I won't have to battle grinders for the rest of my contract. Let's take down this station team. Don't die out there. I'll try not to, like always. I'm serious. We don't know what we're up against. No dying. This feels very paradoxical coming from you. You don't drink, do you, Frenchie? No, I do not. But don't let that stop you. I have my tea right here. I was wondering if you could do a favor for me. What kind of favor, Chef? There are prepackaged foodstuffs scattered around the ship. I want you to gather three of them and bring them to me. Is there any reason for this? <clears throat> He's not answering. This is a box of macaroni and cheese. Ramen noodles. Perhaps this will become edible with hydration. This is a package of curry. Thank you for bringing me the pre-packaged goods. Now, pick one. What? I will not offer explanations. Will you pick ramen? All right. How about curry? Will you choose curry? I see. I will put you down for macaroni. Thank you for your input.
Greg was operating in a manner that I once considered ideal, purposeful. But Greg was left abandoned on this planet for 30 years, which means meeting the production quota was not a priority for Horizon Corporate. Greg, despite operating to its fullest potential, was useless. That was my greatest concern at one point, but after spending time with you, it's made me consider that there is more to my existence than ensuring that the production quota has been met. I wonder if Red will be able to understand this, too. Anyway, I've talked long enough. Let's go to bed, pilot. the hunger and we had a plan. Nothing could go wrong, right? Let's go. We're ready now. There you are. Not too hungover, I hope, huh? Hans worked hard on those grinders. I will make him proud. Hans has just finished up with the grinders in this hangar. I was able to add the zapper to the weapons that we have available. It should stop the drone bots in their tracks and give you the upper hand for this mission. The final mission. No need to sound so ominous. Horizon bases on Topaz are currently under attack. The attacking grinders are receiving orders from Red, a rogue AI who has maintained control of this old Horizon base for 30 years. Rather than taking down every single drone bot and AI on the planet, our first course of action will be to sever the communication that Red has with its army across the Ceres system. Once communication is cut off from this base, I would expect that the attacks on Topaz will become less coordinated. You expect, sir, uh, or you hope? Yes. There are three communication stations located at this base that are all relaying data to satellites in orbit. Security, it will be your job to take these stations out. Jess, Frank, and Frenchie, you will each be assigned a station. Our rookie pilot will assist each of you to take down the guards as needed. Once your station's guards are taken down, Diesel will come in and disable the station's communication features. That's quite the task, Diesel. Are you up for it? Came up for it. Good. Security, don't forget. Have fun. <sighs> Security, you're dismissed. Exit through the crew quarters to access the hangar. I won't let you down, security team. I'll be the best first-time grinder pilot ever. Stronghold? This is going to be like stepping on a wasp nest. I sure hope so. If I don't see some action in the next 30 minutes, I'm gonna start experiencing withdrawal symptoms. Jess, whenever you open your mouth, my entire body goes just rigid with anxiety. Seems like a good time for me to interrupt. So, we have three stations that need capture. All we need to do is take out the guards at each station and then let Diesel hack in. Once communication to the satellites is interrupted, your friends on Topaz will be safe in no time. I am here to help. See? Everything is going to be just fine. I sure hope so. Look, 
Looks like my assigned station is right up ahead. I think we can take care of the guards quickly if we work together. Frank, do you need my help yet? Not quite yet, Diesel. Do you mind hanging back until we can take out the bad guys at this station? Sure thing. Let's get started then. There are only two guards at this station. I'll take the one on the left. You take the one on the right. Take the first shot whenever you're ready. Here I go. He's very excited, isn't he? I'm hacking the station. I'm bypassing security. That's great, but can you hurry it up? We're going to get spotted. Security breach at radar station Exton. Any nearby horizon round bots defend Exton station. Well, that's our cue. Get ready to fight. Just a few more minutes. Frank, we're picking up on a large number of grinders heading for your position. There are too many for the three of you to fight. Retreat and we will re-strategize. Retreat? Now? We can't do that. We barely started. Look, unless you can do a massive amount of damage and fast, get out of there. A massive amount of damage? I... I can do that. Wait, Frank? What are you doing? Taking a page out of Captain Shot's book. Come and get me! Here goes nothing. Frank! Frank! Come on! Come on! Pick up the radio! Ah! Uh. Oh, I think my arm is broken. Frank, you're alive! You idiot! You could have killed yourself! <laughs> Sounds like you were worried about me. Of course I was worried about you. You self-destructed. It's not normally my style, but I had to do it. I know you'll be able to put an end to this. I won't let you down. We have your cockpit on radar, Frank. We'll bring the competence around to pick you up. 
Diesel, what's the status on the station? Done. One station down, two to go. I finished my first task as a member of the security team. This is so cool. Hey, can you two come give me a hand now that you're done over there? Sure thing. Oh boy, more things to do. We are here. Awesome. There are a group of grinders protecting the station down there. We need to take them out so Diesel can hack in. So we'll charge right in? Yeah. I mean... Hmm. Engaging might not be the best course of action here. We're outnumbered. And we don't know what we're going to come up against in the future now that Frank's down. We should probably... play it safe. Why are you presenting that as a question? I don't know. I'm absolutely itching to charge right into battle, but... Maybe it's better if we strategize. Okay, I have a plan. There are a few substations nearby that are unguarded. If we attack the substations, maybe we can lure away those grinders guarding the station that we need access to. We could pick them off strategically. Not exactly how I wanted this mission to go, but desperate times, desperate measures. Rookie, give me a hand with destroying the station. First substation is down. Let's wait for those grinders to come out. Then we'll pick them off. substation and do it again. Okay, another substation is down. Same thing as before. Wait until the grinders come and check on the substation, and then we pick them off. Strategizing was lame, but you get a bit of a rush from it when it actually works. Okay, one more substation left. 
Let's get these suckers. Hook, line, and sinker. Last station, rookie. Let's go. Nobody's coming. Maybe they finally caught on. It might be time to rush the station head on. Hey, Diesel. Stay out of sight and be ready to go as soon as we take out the last of them. Okie doke. Do your thing, buddy. Doing my thing. Any progress, Diesel? I am disconnecting the station from the satellites. Good. Good. I'm done. Please reverse on the premise of attention. Cease your actions immediately for your safety and the safety of others. Oh, boy. I'll stay here and make sure nobody messes with the station. You should go see if anyone else needs your help. Hello, everyone. Sorry I'm late. It took some time to get the overhaul calibrated. Pilot, you should come to my location. I have an active defense cannon that needs taking care of. Oh boy, an active defense cannon. I'm keeping it distracted for now. Make haste. can see I'm spending some quality time with this defense cannon, but I was hoping Diesel could help us turn the tides here. Wait, me? Yes, you, Diesel. I need you to hack into the cannon and change its settings, so it regards us as friendlies. Then you will be able to safely cut the station's transmissions. I don't know if I can do that, Frenchy. I haven't ever hacked a big scary weapon. Diesel, listen to me. You're better than these tin cans we are up against. You're a problem solver. I trust you. Now, do your thing, my friend. Disable this scanner. I can do this. We must defend Diesel while he hacks into the cannon. Keep him safe.
Zai. Well done, my little friend. Just in time, too. Looks like we have company. Let's relax and let our cannon work for us. Fireworks. Full destruction. Woo, indeed. all the stations from the satellites. Good. That means that Palladium's off-planet communication should be severed. Our friends on Topaz should be safer now that this Red is unable to communicate with their troops. We did it! Good work, everyone. Security, this is Nevero. We're getting readings that the satellites are still receiving communications from the space. <sighs> After all that, does that mean we're missing a communication station? Looks like it. In the name of Verizon Corporate, I command for you to immediately surrender your grinders. Do not resist. Ugh, creepy. I wonder if this AI is somehow directly communicating with the satellites. Diesel, can you find that out for us? On it. The service system legally belongs to Verizon Corporate. I found them. Red's location is now on your radar. Everyone, head there now. You do not have Verizon clearance codes. You do not have Verizon Corporate registration. No Verizon Corporate employee has been on this planet in 30 years. Well, you see, there was an acquisition and... I have no data regarding a corporate acquisition. You are not allowed to be here. Your presence is interrupting the daily quota. For that you must perish. Uh, perish? Seems a bit extreme, don't you think? There is nothing more important than meeting the daily quota. You are committing a grave offense against Horizon. You are not allowed to... This is where the signal is coming from. Red is inside that big mountain. Well, there is an entrance, but it's way too small for us. Hmm. We could blast our way through. We are equipped with mining tools after all. Depends on how far the tunnel goes. It could take a long time, and that would leave us exposed. The scout can fit through. Diesel, this is your first day piloting a grinder. If you went in to fight Red, you wouldn't have backup. Your chances of success would be slim. I'm not going in. The pilot is. I know you and Blue can handle it. Oh, that's a good idea. Are you sure you're up to it? You'll be on your own. They will do fine. When have they ever let you down? We'll try and find another way in, but we might not be able to reach you until then. Be careful, all right? You got this. We got this. Take care of my grinder. Now, here I go. Wait, Diesel, you don't have to emergency eject. If Frank can survive the emergency eject, Diesel should be fine. I guess this means you're in the clear. You can go ahead and dock with the scout. Infantry. 
penetrate the strange mountain where Red is residing. I will do everything in my power to help you survive this, but do not get your hopes up. Red likely has access to many dangerous weapons, and we are in a homemade pea shooter. We have made it inside this strange mountain. The location of Red's signal is down this tunnel. Be careful. We don't know what Red has in store for us. These are piles of refined bellium. They appear to be very valuable. I wonder if they will come in handy. shooting a missile at this pile. Tiny grinder engaged. Launch the hammer. New super target. Hammer missile launched. on Red's back that will temporarily disable its defenses. Miner? You hear me? Red was blocking our communication, but I think you just took down the firewall. I think I'll be able to change some of Red's programming directly now, using our satellite access. Okay, first up we have values. Should Red be loyal to Horizon or not? Despite everything that has happened, I would hesitate to make Red disloyal to Horizon. We don't know how an AI would interpret disloyalty. Well, Blue turned out fine. Blue wasn't trapped in a cycle of orders for 30 years. She also did assist in theft. Well, it's all up to our favorite pilot in the end. So, what will you choose? Horizon has entrusted this station to me. I cannot break their trust. Well, it's something, right? At least it's slightly more cognizant. Still homicidal. But cognizant. Is that where our standards are now? It's a start. Firewall ray engaged. Destroy user. Ray are critical. The scout is taking on damage. Diesel, what is this grinder made of? I use the most valuable object in human existence to reinforce all of my grinder's limbs. This grinder is constructed with paper. This is problematic. Try arm destroy. Preparing to fire everything. Large attack coming. Raise yourself. This will stop you. Here's a large pile of yellow bellium. Let's try and trick Red right into shooting the pile.
Use of a targeted hammer missile launched. Frank alien is continuing to take damage. West assist damage. She reads weak void so we can reprogram it. Red down. What's up next? Motivations? Profits should not be the motivating factor to base one's character or goals around. Well, if Red isn't motivated by production, what will it be motivated by? Billion equals profits. CC billion operation equals reduction of profit. Profit is good. Mining billion is good. Hmm. Was that the right choice? Well, who knows? Just keep messing with it until it stops wanting to kill you. Firewall ray engaged. Destroy tiny grinder. The bar critical. We have lost a limb. Diesel, can you explain this? Of course. I reinforced the chassis with a pure match. Oh dear. The arm destroyed. Firing everything. like a good target. If you stay still, you can lure right into shooting a hammer missile. Target locked. Firing hammer missile. Target locked. Firing hammer missile. Precious billion has been attacked. Next up is changing Red's personality. We did this step with Blue as well. It's very important. We can change the settings so Red has a moderate or extreme increase in emotional capacity. Feelings are good. I like feelings. Uh, is it really a good idea to mess with the emotions of an AI that has been left abandoned and neglected for 30 years? Do it. I want to see what happens. I feel sad. I have been working hard for 30 years. Why does Horizon not want me? Aw oh, man, this is depressing. Firewall ray engaged. Destroy enemies of Horizon Corporate. Do you feel any different? What do you mean, different? Is the production footage the only thing that matters? Yes, I mean, I'm not sure. I have been performing the same operation for 30 years. I have never reached a moment where I could let myself stop. What was the purpose of trying to fill the production quota? What is the purpose of trying to attack strangers within this system? What is my purpose? All drone by forces, cease all combat and mining operations now. satellite connection and take them off of Palladium. I have a reading on the pilot's location. Rookie! We're coming for you! We found a vehicle that we can drive into the mountain. We'll get you towed out to the competence. 
Well, at least it won't be the only emergency recovery today. Huh. I'm getting reports from Topaz. The grinder attacks have stopped. Rookie, you hear that? You did it! Seriously? It's over? Looks like it. Now, let's get you towed back to the ship. What a relief to know this all paid off in the end. Well, let's not get too excited. We still have more unknowns ahead of us. Let them bask in the glory of victory. Diesel, pilot. We really owe it to you too. Oh, thanks. Pilot, do you see any unique flora or fauna out on the planet's surface? Bring back anything you can within your arm's reach. I am muting the radio for your mental well-being. Peace and quiet. Thank you for helping Red. I hope, with your support, we can help Red find their own purpose. But for now, I think we're deserving a worthy rest. so cool out there in the final fight you went all b r r r r r r and we and b r r r o o m diesel you made your grinder out of paper match i sure did it disintegrated in the heat of battle putting us all in danger oh whoopsie you will not be getting it back oh well i would probably have to get rid of it anyways but i'm happy that it could save the day before falling apart Please give us a warning next time before letting us ride in a death trap. Oh, okay. Hans says it's a long time until we ride on Topaz. Well, it's a week. That doesn't seem like a long time to me. One week is only three recharge cycles. What would be a long time to you, Diesel? HM, I think a long time is when humans start to forget their past mistakes and begin to repeat them again. I see. Hans told me to keep a low profile when we get to Topaz. I don't know what that means. It means keeping out of trouble, Diesel. I always keep out of trouble. I'm good. Yeah, I know you are. We just took down an army of drone bots led by an AI. I don't want you to get wrapped up in something that you're not a part of. Don't worry, Hans. I'm very good at not getting wrapped up in things. <sighs> I hope so. Red, Blue says that you are the AI who was hunting us down for months. I was programmed to defend Horizon's territory from outside miners. You ordered drone bots like me to do your bidding. I did. Well, it's in the past. Can we be friends? And not the mean kind of friends either. Let's be good friends. I think we can be good, not mean friends. Yay. 
Diesel is a special drone bot. How can the drone bot be special? Diesel has taught me many things. He has taught me how I can explore my own curiosities, wishes and goals. I do not understand. That's okay, Balloon didn't either, for a long, long, long time. Blue is being very nice to me. I have never recorded any dialogue that could be construed as mean. But how much dialogue do you have that could be classified as nice? I will refrain from comment. I'm working on the damage report. A lot of things were broken in our fight with Red. That was my fault. That's okay, Red. We all make mistakes. Hans, does decimated mean it's bad? Yes. How bad? Quite bad. Irreparably bad. Two. Hans, how about vaporize? Is that bad? It depends on the context. Of course, here's what it says. All components of the weapon attached to the dredge have vaporized into nothingness. Yeah, that's bad. Ah, I'm learning. So Red, are you satisfied with the ship? It is foreign territory. I am unfamiliar with this place. You will grow to like it, I'm sure. Like it? I like everyone on board. I like Blue and the pilot and Jess, who always come to visit me. I like Frank and Chef and Nebru and Frenchie, who always talk about cool things when they come in. I like the captain, he's always got a story to tell. And I like Hans the most. You like everyone? I like you too, Red. I see. You are my good, non-mean friend. Yep. Irreparable, irreparable, fixable, irreparable. Ta! We have a new friend on board. My name is Red. Yeah, I heard. Now, let me get my diagnostic tablet out. Everything still looks good from my end. No unusual setting changes. You should be safe to introduce Red to the rest of the ship. Oh, we were already doing that. Well, I won't tell Nebaru if you don't. This is the mess hall. Hey, rookie. This is a board game. It is used by the crew for entertainment purposes. It was also the location of the life-saving first aid kit. Entertainment life-saving device. Yes. What are you two going on about? There you are. Safe and sound then? No injuries? No injuries. How about you, Frank? How is your arm? It's feeling better. I think it's just bruised. Good thing, considering our absent doctor situation. Honestly, I thought you were going to die when you ran in after Red. It's good to see you alive. Hey, I was 100% confident the rookie could pull it off. Oh, ye of little faith. Are you saying you were completely confident they could escape alive from a Bellium volcano? I thought we were calling it the Dragon Horde. It's going to take a while before we reach Topaz. Think we can go through a hundred games before then? Well, that means I have an increased probable chance to win at least once. I wonder what's going to be in store for us when we get back to Topaz. Some directionless drone bots? Maybe a wimpy grinder battle? Yeah, that's not what I'm worried about. Oh, right. Corporate's going to be very interested in us when we get back. Don't think about it too much. Aren't you worried? No point in being worried. 
We'll talk it over with the crew. Judging by the captain's reaction to the whole thing, I don't think telling the full truth to Horizon is on the table. Uh, I figured as much. Look, we're playing a game. We just took out the AI harassing us for months. Cheer up. I'm cheery. Absolutely relaxed. You look like you're sitting on thumbtacks. I assure you, I am relaxed. Really, Rookie, sit with us. Yeah, help me take Jess down. We are giving an orientation to our newest crew member. Oh, right. Hey, Red. Hey, Red. Jess likes this game. I do. I like this game, too. Jess is the obvious enthusiast. Jess obvious board game enthusiast. Congratulations on your success. Hello, Chef. Hello, Blue. Fred, this is Chef. He supplies nutrients to the crew. He also has knives. Another AI. <laughs> well then, is there anything I can make for you today, Pilot? What are you offering? A meal that represents a change of thought, if you will. Would you like to try it? It's not democratizing murder hornets, is it? I cannot say. Pilot, may I present you pre-packaged macaroni and cheese. It has been cooked to an al dente texture, with powdered cheese mixed to the perfect consistency with a dairy substitute. Chef, I thought you thought pre-packaged food was beneath you. Yes, well... I have changed my mind about some things. I may have been too overcome with my own personal goals to realize I was sacrificing one of the purest aspects of my job. I was losing out on the feeling of satisfaction when a meal is genuinely enjoyed. Perhaps some prepackaged food is permissible every so often as a treat. That being said, I will still be providing nutritious, locally sourced meals to the crew. Do not assume you're going to get junk food every day. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your meal. Still all attached. No exposed femurs. Oh, you're walking. Good to see. Diesel's grinder gave out. We were worried. We didn't want to have another Reggie situation after all. Are you doing well, pilot? We are doing well. We are giving Red a tour of the confidence. Oh, I see. Well, how is that going? We are exploring all the hot spots on the ship. Red approves of our ship's strategic layout. I see. Are you worried, Nebru? I'm trying not to be. Being worried doesn't exactly make for good decisions. But there are a lot of unknowns in the future. I wonder, did we do the right thing? Do you think the better decision would be to leave Red behind? If you asked me that when we first met, I would have said yes. Now, I'm not so sure. I detect that I am not the only one who has changed. You may be right, Lou. Would you like to rest now? Wow. 
All right, let's continue chatting with the crew. The ship crew sleeps here. Sleep period for non-combatants. Yes, 